Hello and welcome everyone to Starpercast episode uh, 264 of the Transforming Action Figure Podcast Show. Uh, my name is Hex and we're going to have a full crew here. Uh, Dakota's going to be joining us here in a little bit. I forgot to mute that again. I hate it when I do that. But uh, anyways, we got a collection spotlight from... Are you So you're calling yourself unemployed... Angry Mike now. Okay. Yep. <laughs> uh, all right. So we, we uh, have part of his collection, just part of his Transformers. He's got a bunch of other stuff in there, a bunch of Pops and G.I. Joe and Toy Story figures and stuff like that. So uh, we're going to take a look at his collection. Uh, if you ever want to be spotlighted on the show uh, and us take a look at your collection on the show at the very beginning, uh, just take however many pictures you need of your collection and send it in an email to me at g1hexatron at gmail.com. We'll take a look at that. Uh, we also have a Mount Rushmore. We're doing our Mount Rushmore of our biggest fan, um, Leonardo DiCaprio. A lot of you guys uh, know he's a big fan of the show. He watches all the time. So uh, we're going to be going over his movies and telling him and you guys which ones are our favorites. And then we also have our figure of the week. And then we'll start off with the news. So then we got Dalton also uh, part of the crew. He's in the chat. So he's going to be a mechanic there whenever a uh, camera comes in as well. Uh, but let's start off with introductions. Mike, where can they find you, man? You can find me here at home now as Unemployed Angry Mike. And you can find me as Megamus Mega Toy Fan on Facebook. Uh, everyone else can find me at Facebook is pretty much Chris Barrett. Or if you wanted to find the uh, Facebook page is the paintball, which is uh, War Dogs Paintball. You don't have the YouTube Barrett Prime games anymore? No, God, I've, I'm out of the game now. Uh, I, I've retired, but I might come back. I'll, everyone keeps nagging me to go back, so I'll probably come back into a, a completely different format. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. Okay. Uh, what's up, sport? Nice. Well, you can find me here on YouTube as Sportimus and on Twitter as Sportimus Prime, Facebook as Sportimus Prime, and now on Instagram as Sportimus underscore Prime, and here on Day 19 in Captivity at Home. All right, and you can find me, G1 Hextron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page, the G1 Hextron. So uh, first off, figure of the week. What'd you get? What do you got, Mike? Um, actually, <clears throat> yesterday I got in the... Uh, one of the Sia cons, the uh, Golf, is that what his name is, I guess? So I got that wow. in yesterday um, from Hasbro Pulse. Um, I did not uh, do the pre-orders on those, so it was kind of uh, catching it as it uh, comes out, I guess. Mm. So I got this, and then I'll have a Turtler, I guess his name is, on uh, Tuesday. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm looking forward to getting all of those. So you're going to have to track down the others? I mean, they were already expensive right out the gate. Well, no. Um, if you go – well, yeah, the, I'm paying the Hasbro Pulse price because they're – after they ship them out, apparently whatever they have left over, they're throwing up on their site. So I lucked out, and I got the first two that, uh, that have sold out again since then. And the next two ship out on Monday, and I think – Whatever they have left over will be thrown up on their site after that. So I'm hoping Monday or Tuesday to order the next two. I'm hoping for a box set. Me too. It'd be nice. I'd like to see ready. that in a, a nice white God Neptune recolor. Would be nice. Because uh, what we'll see a little bit later on is it doesn't even matter if Hasbro came out with this stuff a year or two ago. They'll, they'll repackage it and they'll come out with it again. Mm -hmm. So, uh, All right. What do you got, Meg? All right. So... I got in finally the masterpiece Black Arachnia, and yep, it's my beast uh, Beast Wars flying. She is amazing, simply amazing. Uh, just just all the little detail, even little ankle tilts on this little bit. It's it's a good figure. I would recommend it. Um, do I think it's a hundred and I think it was a hundred and thirty bucks figure? Ooh, good. Uh, no. Uh, this, this really is more like a seventy, eighty dollar, like we got with yeah. uh, Tiger Tron or uh, Cheetor. Cheetor. Or Cheetor. Yeah. 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 So, but uh, it's still it's a good figure, and I had to have it, so it's good. Figure of the week. Nice. All right, 
What'd you get, Chris? See, my collection is a bit more tactical, so like I haven't got anything plastic. But I did collect some biscuits um, and green screens blanking out. But the custard creams, <laughs> and we'll, wow. we'll show you this here. It's a nice golden yellow, and if you twist it, and it's got like the custard cream part, and mm. it's got this, and you eat it, and you dunk it in tea. It's really nice. Uh, so that's my collection, um, because you know, cookie for the win. Yeah. Nice. Is 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 that uh, is that my kind of tea or your kind of tea? Oh yeah, because I remember when we went to Botcon on a Saturday, I was like, "Oh, uh, have a cup of tea," and they put something there, and I was like, "Josh, what the hell have they given me? What is this?" It's like it's tea. That's <laughs> not tea. What is this called? And it was just like brain. It, it was weird, but yeah, I, I've got no more room for figures. I can't I, help it. I can't I, do anything. I worked with this Russian guy, and we went over to his house, and he was like, "Hey, do you do you want some tea?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, you know." And so he puts puts a little pot down and some little coffee mugs or whatever down, and uh, his wife is like, "Do you want any like milk or th th this or honey or whatever with your tea?" I'm like, "I'm still waiting for you to give me my tea," and she was like, "It's here in the pot." I'm like, "That's not tea." <laughs> you know, you know. Tea, tea to you has to have what 14 15 packs of sugar something like that yeah you, like that, you like, like that tea. sweet tea don't you sweet tea baby yeah dude, I, that's what i'm drinking right now man i, I can't i can't do that if i do that i'll have less toes than mike so i mean just it ain't gonna happen <laughs> it's simple all you need is it comes in a tea bag you get the tea bag you put in a cup you get the boiling water you pour it in you stir it for four seconds take it out chuck in the milk and you put in the sugar and because I'm really weird about it, you stir around 10 times and done. But random fact, the reason why you use milk and tea back in Victorian times, you put the milk in first so it doesn't crack the china cups. That's too much I was going to ask you, why why milk? I, I, I love hot tea. I usually get a little lemon in mine, but I don't, I never can understand the milk. Uh, see, I I, I I tried the hot tea, but like it, it's not my thing. Like I live in Texas. We're not out here sitting in 110 degree weather being like drinking hot tea. You know, like True. no, we want some ice sweet tea. You know, so they don't do the pinky up thing either. You know? No, but like I don't even drink coffee. <laughs> we that? will like walk around in like the summer in jeans. Um, it, it doesn't really matter if it's like it's a hot day. It's like yeah, hot chocolate. Who cares? Mm -hmm. It's fine. Coffee, tea, you yep. name it. But then I do agree though. Like it is nice to have like a cold drink in the summer. We've gone on a we've gone on a tangent here. Uh, like, we're, we're, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Ice Tea Podcast. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> One thing that uh, real quick that I always do anytime I watch any type of British movie or TV show, uh, I make bets with myself on how long is it going to be until someone says I'll put a kettle on. I put the kettle on. And so. <laughs> I love doing that. All right. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> what what is your oh, figure man. of the week? Is it going to beat the cracker? I don't think anything can beat the cracker. Um, aside from this new chair, I got the Yellow Ranger from the Legacy line from Hasbro. Oh. And I was lucky to find this in store. It was the only one in there, and they had a bunch of the other Blue Ranger from whatever series of Power Rangers that I'm not familiar with, but this one was sitting there by itself, and is that the first? My, is that the first? Yeah, power? I'm only going for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers uh, characters, so that's that's all I'm sticking with. All right, and for mine, I will go with the the big boy go. Snake Eyes. Mike, do you have one of these? Yes, you you do. Okay, because I know you say you didn't have one. That's why I suggested maybe you should show Hasbro that you're a fan of GI Joe. Maybe they send one out. Maybe do a G.I. Joe podcast or something, you know, just show yeah. them you're a fan. So. Yeah, just just right. another one. I'm not a G.I. Joe person. All I seen was a black box, and I'm really confused what's inside the black box. Dude, there's a lot good. of stuff. A lot of stuff in there. So it reminds me of the battle packs, just a ton of weapons. Mm. So. All right, and, and a figure. There's a figure yeah. there too. <laughs> While we wait on Dakota, let's go ahead and get into our Mount Rushmore. Leonardo DiCaprio movies. What do you got, Mike? Oh, I'm going first. Okay, hold on. Let me pull back up. All right. Uh, starting from four on up, it was The Man in the Iron Mask. Uh, yes. Good one. I like that one. It's been a while since I've seen it. Then um, 
Romeo and Juliet, The Departure, the, the Departed, The Departed, The Departed. Yeah. Well, they call it the departure in Arkansas, though. Yeah, it's, that's a southern Arkansas thing. Arkansas version. There you Arkansas go. American. And then, and then my number one that I like of him was uh, Titanic. Good. You got you got some romance movies on here. Yeah, I've seen the. Hey, actually, uh, I was wondering if your wife made this list. Romantic Mike, there. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, but my my uh, honorable mention on this one was actually the Quick and the Dead. If y'all remember that one, it's funny you should say that. Yeah. Okay. All right, my uh, my four, um, and I tried to do it. I'm going to go four down to my my favorite. So um, I'll go with. Uh, the Quick and the Dead was number four for me. I love that movie. I actually really liked that movie, and I thought he was really good in it. The mm -hmm. Wolf of Wall Street, I liked that for a yeah. lot of a lot of different reasons. Um, I liked Catch Me If You Can. I absolutely loved that movie. Loved, loved, and he was a young, you know, Leonardo. Not not as young as Quick and the Dead, but it was such a good good movie. And then my favorite was uh, Django Unchained. And anyone, and, and I don't know if he would confirm this. My understanding was he actually cut himself in yes. that scene and kept going on, even though he was cut. And that, to me, brilliant. I mean, kudos to that. You, 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 you definitely, you know, exhibited the trade of real acting with that. I loved it. Yeah, that's why it's so great. Uh, action figure expert, real quick. He says, uh, "What's what's it being Gilbert Grape, Romeo and Juliet, Django Unchained?" So, yes. uh, what you got, Chris? For mine, um, I struggled to get it into like, any particular order, so I'm just going to waffle on, but okay. like, straight to the point. Um, really loved Man in the Iron Mask. I thought that was probably one of well, up until uh, actually, yeah. Don't listen to me. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, Man in the Iron Mask like, was a really good one. I loved that because it was a really sort of um, intense. When I say intense, it, it, it's just of acting. It was really, really, it was like a powerful movie. Like back then when I was a kid, I, I did appreciate it. Second, no, again, no real particular order. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street, awesome film. I loved it. So many yeah. gifts and memes that come from that that I use even today. Uh, it, it's just, it's brilliant. And it's like, it, it, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. Granted, if it is your cup of tea or not, as we're going back to tea, um, whatever you like doing, <laughs> that's, that's up to you. But hey, money's great. Um, so is the boats and women. And anyway, uh, moving from there, I I can't think of the name. Uh, it's oh, I shouldn't have winged it, but it's ah yes, Revenant. Here we go. Absolutely loved Revenant. It was his first movie he ever had to ask Oscar for, and do you know what? It was going really fine. When he did the Oscar, he had the exception speech, and then he came out with that really weird thing. We gotta save the planet, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. Yes, if you ask me to do American accent, I can only do seven, that's all we know. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it's just like, why? But hey ho. And then the last one was probably, um, what's it called? Everything goes upside down, dreaming thingy. Oh, Inception, Inception, yes, yeah. Inception. Well, um, that was an interesting one, and then the ending that's just a, left it open. Yeah, that, that, that's a, that's a weird me. way of explaining that movie. You know, the one that everything goes upside down. Yeah, but, but you knew all, it. But we all knew it. That's just yes. it. it. The only thing I didn't like about that is the ending really bugged me. And I know that was that was mm. the reason. I mean, they, they did that for the reason, but it just it always bugged me. Mm. Oh, there's another movie like that, which I'll, that's on my list, which I'll name. But uh, Sport, you go ahead. I don't, um, I'll see yours. I'm going to get to your list after mine now. Well, oh, everything's been mentioned pretty much. But in the order of my favorites, I would start with Titanic as number four. Um, I really love that ship in, in general. And I think they did a pretty, uh, pretty interesting story regarding that. Um, after that is Catch Me If You Can, and then, um, oh God, Man in, the, Man in the Iron Mask. I love that movie. I mean, it's just, that actually made me really like Leonardo DiCaprio right there. Um, but the, the one that I can watch 
over and over and over again anytime because I love Westerns in general. And Sharon Stone, I think, was in it. Uh -huh. yeah. um, was The Quick and the Dead. I, yeah. I love that movie to the point where I could just watch it every day if I had to. There's so many, so many good scenes in that movie. You know, Gene yeah. Hackman, everyone did so Russell Crowe. Mm -hmm. It was just it was packed. Great. I love I love the hole that you can see, the yeah. bullet hole in the yeah. ground, you know what I'm saying? That's through his body in the shadow. That's just like gotcha kind of moment, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll have to go go back and rewatch a couple of these. Uh my four. Uh, number four, I've got the Aviator. Uh, so, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I like that one a lot. Uh, also, I love the the end, uh, the wave of the future, the wave of the future, the wave of the future, the wave of the future. So, uh, number three went with The Departed, Scorsese movie. Yep. And number two, I went with another Scorsese movie. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, number two. I uh, went with Inception, which is uh, Christopher Nolan. Is the Aviator Scorsese or is that Spielberg? I think oh, it was Spielberg. I think it was Spielberg. I thought it was Spielberg. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Spielberg. And number one, I went with another Scorsese. Uh, kind of like a lot like Inception at the end where it kind of leaves it to where – is it this or this? Is Shutter Island. I, I was wondering I, if someone was going to say that. I absolutely love Shutter Island, man. Mm -hmm. I, I love the music. Hans Zimmer and a lot of these too. Yep. Like, man, it just everything about the movie it, it just hits for me. So, if, if you would have done Island. a top five, that would have been my number five. I, I really that one was I was thinking no, about that one. Like yeah. number five, the switch out with the Aviator. I had Catch Me If You Can. So yeah. such a good movie. Aviator, uh, like. Dalton, uh, he says he's going to go with Inception, Titanic, Man in the Iron Mask, and then Shutter Island. So I didn't want to read his off before mine because I wanted to be first. Sure. Yeah, but yeah. but then he said he forgot about Inception. So I mean, he he waffles too much. He's you know he, he went with eating mind. Gilbert Grape, and then he knew <laughs> that it was a movie that went upside down, and so uh, Stranger, the Stranger Things, yeah. So. All right, let's go ahead and get into screen share. Uh, someone will have to let me know when Dakota gets in here. I was fixing the text. Let's see where he's at. All right, and here's our collection spotlight from Angry Mike, looking at a few of his Transformers. So uh, I believe you got quite a few more Transformers to this. You got G.I. Joe Pops. Oh, yeah, I got more Transformers than that. A lot of those look familiar. A lot of this just a bunch of Micon <laughs> stuff, club stuff. I wonder where you yeah, got them from. These were actually uh, all my uh, encased transformers or my display case. It look doesn't include the um, the box ones. And stuff look like at that. Uh, look at that pink primal. That is beautiful. Love that coloring. Calm, really, calm that dog down. Is that, is that Meg's little no, little puppy? No, that would be Mike's. Yeah, she's mine's, excited. It's her birthday. Mine's downstairs. Oh, she's a doggy biscuit. Yeah. No, she bought a cake. Even better. A cake for a dog? Yeah, exactly. I'd do that. Vanilla. Oh, I'd... They make little, uh, little frozen treats that are like that for dogs. I can't remember yeah. what it's called. Um, that's our little treat for ours. What's it called again? It's called a pup pie. Oh, hey, hey, yeah. Hey, how many Metroplexes do you have? I was just about yeah. to say that. Hey, uh, Metroplex. Let's make I a have, deal. Nope. I have one, two, three Fort Maxes. See, why? why do you do that on yeah. Metroplex? Let me get that Metroplex, man. Well, because the other ones got too expensive. I couldn't afford those. I You're right. You ready for this? I'm probably the only one. I returned my Metro Place. I hated it so much when I bought it. I bought it from the, the store, and that same day I returned it. I hated it. I have um, all the versions of um, Metroplex. There's the regular retail, the San Diego, and the uh, Takara. Mm -hmm. And then I also have the Brave Max, which is another. You're talking about Fort Max. 
Yeah, another Fort Max, which is, so I got four it's of those a, molds. Retooling, yeah. So, but yeah. no, I I actually returned it, and I regret it because the thing's worth like four times what it originally was. Yeah. But, oh, well. Hey, I man. didn't care for it. Oh, that's a pretty nice little setup you got there. Yeah. yeah. Some ways, some blasters, man. Yeah, I wonder where I got those at. Yeah. Pretty, lucky, pretty lucky to pick those up. Yeah, I mm -hmm. was. Action figure says, what about Grand Maximus? Not is, that the, is that what this one's called, the Grand Max? The Grand Max would be Japanese. It was a different yeah, color. He, yeah, he, he's like he's got red and blue. Uh, Brave yeah, was, that's a, yeah, Brave was a, mostly red. Uh, Grand was... Well, whatever this one is, the one I got right here, it's the red. Oh, blue, no, I'm, I'm thinking of Brave Max. Grand Max has got like green, red, and Correct. Mm -hmm. white. Yeah, yeah. okay. Whichever one was supposed to come with the little Titan Master that they canceled, that's the one I got. Yeah, they, they haven't done Grand, I don't think. I yeah, don't the, that's, that's the one from Super God Master Force. Okay. Boy. Uh, I don't know about this line. Brain hurts now. These these were like hit or miss, I think, with some of these. Some of them were really, really spot on, and the others were like, eh. But the new the new line? Yeah, I didn't care for the Car Brothers. I just didn't like that really? mold. Mm -hmm. um, but like Refractor uh, was good. Uh, Spinister was good. Hoist good. Then oh, so you're have, talking about Siege. Have, yeah, that's what you yeah. got up right now, right? And that's Siege. Well, well, well. Th this these guys are Siege right here, but then yeah. you get into Will Jack and Cliff Jumper and Hoist mm -hmm. and Grapple. This is the new War for Cybertron, which is and Earthrise yeah. looks really, or Earthrise which looks it, really good. Earthrise. I, I don't yeah. care for the Wheel Jack though. Really? Huh. Yeah, I just. Dude, I, I love. I went with the Japanese headmasters mm. and. Uh, a lot. Either, either way, you could get the headmasters. Finally, they need to come out with those Autobot target masters. I, I can tell you right now, third party is going to hit it before yeah. Hasbro does because they've, they've already hit. Because well, they've already hit the uh, the headmasters. You said Dakota's here. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, in, the, he's in the back. Those are my dogs. No, that one was mine. Sorry. I'll mute. She's downstairs, but she's loud. <laughs> like all women are. Um, so, Ooh. Ooh. Bazinga. Um, this comes from someone who doesn't have a woman. Is this Mike's? Is this Mike's collection? Yeah, it's part of it. Okay. Yeah. Is that you all your see, free pro? You see, he's got a bunch of the little cyberverse figures over here. Trash, <laughs> Mike. Wow. Not but not but trash. Mike, uh, what the? You all right, bud? You, you seem like you're trying to fill this void that just can't be filled. Um, does does Sarah not love you? Uh, sometimes. Depends on what day that's the week a, it is. That's a, that's a, that's a good uh, Beast Wars display right there, Mike. All 10 of your figures. What are you even doing on the Beast Wars show? That's not all my figures. Hmm. I got more in box. You got the uh, wild cards there. Yeah, Let me know whenever more. you get rid of that Grand Galvatron. I'll give I'll give yeah. you seven. I'll give you seventy five dollars for it and no, five you, toilet squares. Five you, toilet squares. Three hundred dollars. Mm. Hey, that's what the five toilet squares are going to be worth. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Mike, Mike, uh, I'll give you two hundred dollars for Metroplex and Computron right now. Jeez. What is this? Let's make a deal. When did this happen, Mike? I saw that you had my custom still on that shelf. Yeah, I do. <laughs> too bad. Too bad. It's going to be like I don't know six years before we get to meet up again, so I can get my custom and the 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 paper. We got to trade the posters because I got two and you got two. Oh yeah, and your comic book and my comic. Jesus. Yeah, look at the <laughs> set. He's so, just looking G. G. He's so thirsty to get some GI Joe. <laughs> <laughs> right. Looks like looks like Destro has been hitting the gym. Dang, yeah, yeah. E-Man style. Been working out. Yeah. What well, E-Man custom, custom or a custom? Like a, a De I was gonna say it looks like a Destro from like <laughs> un under five. That's what, that that's that that's that awesome. Uh, that's that Sigma Six Destro. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Gosh. Buff. I see you have doubles of the best box box set ever, huh? No, but ask him. Are these? <laughs> are, is there anything special about these? Yeah, why? Why two? Which ones are pre-pro though? 
Um, mm. All the ones in robot mode are pre-production, pre right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sweet. <laughs> the best bot com box ever. It it's, 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 it's actually that was my first. That was it, my first one of the there. worst. My God. No, I'm glad. I'm glad Josh worst. finally picked up. No, thirteen was like. No, thirteen was wasn't the worst. worst. Which one was thirteen? That? Was great. That, that was nine. Striker, right? Striker, Obsidian, and Megaplex, and the machine, machine Wars guys. That was such an awesome box set. All oh, y'all are haters. Oh, no, I, I would put. Oh, I would put thirteen over nine. nine. Was a great set. No. It's a no. great. It's a great set because it's seventy five bucks on the aftermarket box and all. Mm -hmm. Boom. No, this is true. Including shipping. Hey, hey, <laughs> including shipping. Hey, hey. <laughs> Dakota. Dakota. <laughs> it was guys, check out the discount. It was nine hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. <laughs> they crossed that out, went for two ninety nine and ninety nine cents. Took crossed that out, out crossed <laughs> that out, it went for seventy five dollars. There you go. What a deal. <laughs> the cutter knows what I'm talking about, dude. That 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 still ca makes Mike, me cackle to this day, dude. Mike, why do you have this Astro train back here? Why do you have this Astro train still? Which yeah, one? I'm trying to get rid of mine. That's the the Titans return. Oh, I like that one. Oh my goodness, are these not updated? Yeah, I have the other ones too. Just because you update doesn't mean you gotta get rid of your old stuff. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. Oh. oh. Then you're not true collectors. I Media collecting horror. Guilty, guilty as charged. Order. I yeah. gotta, I gotta side with Mike on that. Yeah, I'm in it for the money. Yeah, you're yeah. absolutely right. Sorry. Yeah. Now space. Came space the on the other hand, space yeah. takes precedence over everything. I'm sorry. Right. It, it really does. Might give you thirty bucks for them sweeps. <laughs> <laughs> with the bio cards. I Ooh, bet he'd give you those, extra five for the bio cards. I bet he'd sell you those comics at the bottom. <laughs> Hey, and so, Mike, this this little <laughs> little translucent reflector. Dalton said he'll give you fifteen dollars for it right now. No, this just became a buy sell. Does it still have your dried up spit on it? Red. Exactly. It's got my it's got my saliva on it, so it's going to be more than that. Ew. Oh, yeah, yeah, we've I still have not opened mine. Wiped. We've already looked through these, so disinfect his collection. Yeah. Well, my, mine is no. mine is still uh, mint and sealed peel. Yeah. All right. So here's uh some. Uh, images of the Netflix series stuff. Mike, you getting these? Yeah, whenever they decide to give them away or give them out. Didn't they change the name of Skywarp and gave it something else? No, this is a hot link. Hot link. Yeah, hot link. This is the hot other link. three. The uh, Skywarp uh, came out through uh, Amazon, sold out, and Resold out. And I'm assuming it had less purple. This is still in it. Skywarp. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm struggling. It's like I don't know what the difference is. I don't want to say. This is for this is for people different. that don't want to pay a hundred dollars for Skywarp on the aftermarket. Actually, it does look really good. It's, uh, Actually, in a vehicle. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> look at look how good that looks. Actually. <laughs> It does oh, look man. Good. We, we've been demonetized like 50 times already. <laughs> uh, no. I, mean, there's 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 a, I tried not to swear. There's the comparison there's right there. Yeah, there's a definite difference the one in uh, Jet Moon. I'm better. Or I, I, try yeah. Better. This one looks like, like a bird flew over and just crapped all over it. So. <laughs> well, that's when they were trying to do that battle damage garbage that and they I didn't said, do very well. I said back then that that was terrible. What are you what do you think all that scuff marks is on Hotlink? Hotlink is supposed to be like purple, purple, not like purple and black. Oh, that that Hotlink looks so much better. Why would they name them after a sausage anyway? I know. I don't know, man. That's a, a yeah. Make me want to, to the, get in, in the in the yeah. in the fourth best bot concept ever, twenty thirteen. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I like that Hotlink. This one's a waste. <laughs> So there's yeah, uh, this, this, this guy. Yeah. Huh? He looks better than the retail hound. There, I said it, but uh, I don't. What, I don't what, know why it's right. necessary. Yeah. Um. He. It's more of like an olive drab instead of that kind of forest green. The bright green. And um, yeah. he's got more uh, more dark grays in him. Uh, you think so they I mean, were I trying to go with a more quote unquote realistic color scheme? Is that what they were trying? 
kind of it definitely it definitely fits the darker narrative to the, what the animation looks like it's going to be you know uh, same with the side swipes he's like a darker red opposed to that kind of cherry red i, I kind of like it though i think, I, yeah. think that one, I think that one works definitely yeah, i think it works for hound i think I it definitely like, works for hound like side swipe I don't like the side swap either. I don't like any of the ones that have all that crap on them. I think it's the, the G2 side swap was the this. best side swap. Yeah, they're, it just was. Trying, they're just trying something different. You know, we gripe if they don't put enough paint apps on it. We gripe if they put too much paint apps. So. I don't, but it's like it's the wrong paint. paint. Yeah, it's the wrong It's the app. wrong That's paint. the thing it's I don't like. App. I don't like like the side piece there, and I get that that that's uh, the black on the side of sideswipe. Yeah, I, it's very distracting, but I know they did that because it, any paint would rub. I get that. Yeah, but it just it's so distracting. Mm -hmm. I think it's neat they come with these little printouts for like Teletran One. Oh, I didn't you know, know that. And I, I think yeah, I don't know if, if if it's Autobots and Decepticons, but I'm pretty sure they come with like these little printouts, and you kind of like uh, clip them together, sort of. Yeah, so connect them together and have like a diorama. How many do you have to get before you get the whole set? Ten. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's all of them. Probably yeah. all of them. It's ten, and it's in just the deluxes only. Well, think about oh, it. Okay. You know, um, Marvel does the build of figures. There you yeah. go. I would be I'm all fine. over yeah. that yeah. idea. Similar. Even idea. even though it's just a printout, you know, of, on the back of the box. I like. I'm I'm about it, man. I, I like that. It. You know that that build a diorama aspect. You know, it's not fancy and three-dimensional but it still i think enhances the shelf presence and they've been doing it with studio series for a hot minute now yeah. and uh that's something that i've liked about studio uh, series i, I love this about it, I was I love it. About getting this one but, but then the, uh i the just I, stuff, I, I, I saw the yeah, what, new what one that they're going to be coming out with uh it's it's the same mold but they're doing it again silver and black mode darker mm -hmm. darker uh silver um mm. So they, well, it's, exactly. it's remolded. It's remolded to be like an earth form. And like, I, it's going to be an easy pass for me. I heard they're doing a G2 repaint of it. And I may pick that up, but mm. I'm still kind of hesitant. What is, what is on his chest? It almost looks like a, an half a autograph. It's like a Sharpie marker yeah. to it or something. It's like weird. It. It, looks more, it, it looks too uniform to be battle damage, in my opinion. It, yeah, scuffs. See, they're scuffs. Yeah, it's terrible. I, I think it looks horrible. Instead of chest hairs, he got scuffs. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. You know, I still have the retail Siege Megatron, and I took some uh, rubbing alcohol to the battle damage, and it's a great looking figure. I left it on the black pieces because I think that silver wear looks great on the black pieces, but mm -hmm. when it's like silver on top of a bright color, it just doesn't look that great. See what I mean? I mean, the, the side of that doesn't look bad, but the, those those black pieces are just so out of place. Compared yeah. to every yeah, compared to everything else, if they would have just cast them in red, if mm -hmm. they could have even cast them in red, I don't know what part of the mold layout they're on, but, but like either way, I think it would anyway, and it could be red. I, I think it would have. I think it would have looked out of place either way, just with how weathered the rest of the vehicle is. Yeah, I mean the front, mm -hmm. the, the the front bonnet looks completely weathered, and then the rest doesn't. I get that if it was battle damage in robot mode, which makes sense. Which it is. It, it it makes sense. It just doesn't look right in car mode. Hot links the winner in this batch. I think yeah. so. Yeah, right. no doubt. Take a look at this uh, Ultra Magnus. Uh, Spoilers with with cherry flavored rung. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, now were were a lot of people upset about this? I mean, wasn't this? Oh a no, big, it went I thought it was a big reveal. Pre-order. It was a big it looks reveal. Half though, finished. Right? It's so yeah. half finished, man. It just does not look. Uh, I'm happy with the retail version. Me exactly. Too. But this was like yeah, a big, dude. big reveal for them, right? And everyone was like, eh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I canceled my pre order of it. Should have been Delta you know, Magnus. Ex except, cool. except for the Jolly yeah. Rancher little figure there. I want to touch on what Sports said. Like, dude, it's like they went half Delta on it and then just stopped and was like, all right, Ultra Magnus the rest of the way. Um, you know, and then like like the the clear red rung, like the, I mean, okay, rung's gonna be in the show, sweet, I guess, but I don't know, dude. Get the retail rung and get the retail Magnus. Like, I don't think you're missing out on anything here. It it does not look right. I, I'll say mm -hmm. that. 
Dalton, what do you mean spoilers, man? <laughs> well, supposedly, <laughs> like, yeah, like the, the like this was like a big secret whenever they revealed it because it was it had mm-hmm. spoilers from the show apparently. Right, we but, all knew it was Ultra Magnus. What they, what's this? The like, what's what's this though? Is this supposed to be like his cape or something like that? Because he had a That's cloak in the trailer. Cape. Supposed to be his oak yeah. cloak and cape or whatever. Ooh, he's in disguise. Yeah. If they would just release the cloak then, like, and just put it on the regular retail Magnus, like, but I do, I can't see paying like 50, 60 bucks for yeah. this box set just, just to get the cloak out of it, you know? What was, what was that on top of it? Looked like a little, uh, looked like wrong. Looked like it was wrong. The, uh, it's the, uh, that. it's They're the Energon Cubes. Energon Cubes. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, Mike, you know what I looked at that and I thought, remember, remember then, you know, the old Joes had the little camo. Uh, yep. little camo paint or whatever. That's what I thought it was. That's what it looked Just like. Just another G.I. Joe cybercast. There you go. There we <laughs> go. You know. <laughs> That's, yeah. I wouldn't mind the rum. That, exactly. I, I'd be willing to bet you're going to see a lot of people break those up and sell that rum for a lot more. $40. Than it should be. If somebody, exactly. if somebody just wants to sell the cloak, I'll buy the cloak and then I'll find, I'll, I'll go look for a retail Magnus to put it on. That's, I, I've been <laughs> I just want bad. the cloak. And just like parting the whole thing out completely. Just I, I see people doing it apart. That. Definitely. I have a sewing machine. I'm gonna make my own cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, right? I'm sure. I'm sure DNA Designs is gonna come out with a soft goods cloak for it. And okay, yeah. I'll spend twenty five dollars on that. Opportunity. Okay, that was exciting. That's that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So from Target exclusives, two packs. Uh, Sky Warp and Thundercracker, and then you get your Decepticon clones, which okay. <laughs> these, wingspan. these I think yeah, are the, yeah. the Takara Decas. So if you missed out on ordering the Takara versions or just kind of slept on them or whatever, uh, I think this is a really good way to get the Takara Decas in the U.S. market. Yeah. yeah. I imagine there's plenty of people that do have them, though. Uh, Not me. You know, from... Buying the box oh. sets or even buying the Takara versions originally. Mm-hmm. So. Well, even the the Hasbro ones, they were broke up exclusives, uh, right. like right. In, in five, you know, five robot box sets, or and then a were, Walgreens two pack. Walgreens, yeah. yeah. Great way to get the the two seekers though, the oh, Skywarp yeah. Thundercracker. I think that's, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's, that's that's an easy one right there. I'm glad they didn't do like, oh, here's Skywarp and. Sunstorm and then Acid Storm and Thundercracker, Thundercracker. or even oh, like to play to play Devil's Advocate. Like I think it would have been bad if they did a clone and a Seeker. You know, like that would have just been a stupid two pack. You know, like just get sell people the two clones together, sell people the two Seekers together. Yeah. So it's good that they did that, or are doing that. The thing is, like, how difficult is it going to be to get? Because like. I remember Red Wing. I fortunately hopped on Red Wing before it was like locked by a red card, and I don't know how easy that thing is to acquire now. You know, I I, I really do like this uh, if, seekers. For, uh-huh. for those who did not know, those are actually both Target exclusives. They're a two pack. Yeah, they, yeah. yeah. Target yes. exclusive, and so is the clones are Target two pack. Yes, both of them are. Uh, the clones, I believe, were I can't remember those, but the uh, Seekers was a uh, I think sixty dollars. Yeah, Seekers is sixty bucks. And so the clones were twenty five, maybe. Oh wow! Or 30. That's cheap. Probably thirty. Probably thirty. I would. I, I would. 30, maybe, thirty. Maybe it was thirty then. Because they're like they're a hundred percent on that. They're a little bit bigger than the than the Legends class figures, but they're also a little bit smaller than the standard deluxe. So I, I would bet right. thirty on them. Honestly, if they came with weapons, I'd buy them again. So. I mean, I'm going to get them because I never got the one that came in the uh, the five pack box, and plus these are better colored versus what Hasbro was. Oh, we can skip right over this trash. So excited Picard, about this! Tony Mall exclusive, New Generation Select, Super Megatron, Ooh. or something. Rumor. Rumor is on uh, April 8th. It's supposed to be going up on Pulse. 
and I think it's gonna be like sixty bucks. It's six thousand yen or sixty six hundred wow. yen with tax on Takaratomi Mall, which is yeah, it's it, that's around sixty bucks. Um, I'm dude, I'm excited for this man. Like, uh, I really like the Star Convoy that came out. And whenever they kind of tease the Super Megatron, you know, we didn't get a Super Megatron and the manga that is on the website uh, teases the uh, the Ultra Megatron alt mode and Ultra Megatron robot mode. So he'll be able to do all four, which is really cool. Like, I really like that. I really like that aspect of, of this release. And I think, dude, Takara is nailing it with their selects where Hasbro is kind of like half and half. And it's like they're half on old fun pub ideas that they're doing good. And then like, I don't know, there were four cassettes they came out with and they're like, go buy these. And they're still in stock. You know, <laughs> like this is easy pass for me though. Uh, and you got yeah. the Galvatron legs that I never liked. I didn't buy that Galvatron either. They Says got the number one Galvatron fan. Good. They got to make a better. <laughs> Galvatron. I, I, I don't, I don't need another line to collect. So what yeah. I don't I'll, like I'll the pass. Thing. In vehicle mode, the way it dips down to the cockpit, I don't like that. I like, dude. I think this is as close as we're gonna get to the source material. And like, y'all know, I'm a sucker for Japanese G1 stuff. And this is like near the end. So, dude, they can they can do it all, man. Give me an updated Sky Gary, Grandus, Metro Titan. I get that. Uh, I mean, I, I see, know. I see the the want and the appeal in this. Where's the tank mode? Uh, it's in the. You'll have to like right now. They haven't re uh, revealed the the Wait, toy uh, images of the tank mode or the Ultra it. Megatron mode, but oh, it's, it's in the manga. Mode. Yeah, yeah, it's in the mode? manga. The, the yeah. Treads are in the, yeah, it's got two robot <laughs> modes and two vehicle modes. Wow, I was going to ask that because in the robot mode, it looks like it's almost like a triple changer. Either that, or just someone in the engineering was just drinking something funny yeah. that day. Go to the go to the Takara Tomy Mall website and and look at the two uh, it's in the second volume manga that they published in, in the listing for this and you'll see the Ultra Megatron mode uh, robot mode on the last panel along with the tank mode on the last panel. So. Uh, Hasbro China Taobao 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 okay Taobao Taob Taob yep. You know, you know my Chinese isn't very good. So, <laughs> Dalton, your answer is inferior. We don't care what you think. Um, I like well, this. This was probably one of the better looking um, Bay Bayformer figures. I thought. What's so, this supposed to be? That's what I was wondering. I like uh, it. I like blackout. the camo, but why? I know it's blackout. Oh, okay, it's just I was I was wondering why they put camo on him. I I think it's just a recolor that they created. But it, it protect him from the it, Rona. It looks good. <laughs> Make him invisible to the invisible enemy. That's right. It, the, it, it does look it, better. When, when does blue camo work out for you? Like if you're just flying <laughs> over the water, <laughs> or are you just like Honestly, in the Arctic? I thought that was a Navy thing. So, oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but as soon as as soon as you like you fly and you're not over water anymore, it's like, oh, there he is. Well, Josh, <laughs> if you're in the sky, you won't see because the sky's blue too. Duh! Everyone knows blue camo. <laughs> just remember, just remember. <laughs> With the just, white, he's like, man, that cloud right there. That's going like really that's fast. A that's a loud. That's a loud ass fast. cloud. Think, think going, about it's it. It's going a lot faster than these other ones here. Think about it. If you're wearing green camo and you're good, but you go into Walmart, not so good. All right. See, so I mean, unless like you're in it. the green camo section, that's true. Dude, I it's went to Walmart neat. today. I just don't know. There's people that, that are wearing bandanas, <laughs> like it's the old west here in Texas. <laughs> there's, people you are in Texas. Wearing, there's people wearing <laughs> snorkeling gear. I mean, come on, snorkeling gear. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I'm just looking around, and I'm like, none of those are doing anything for you. Like, I don't have a yeah. mask at all. I'm like, like, like you're just as much at risk as I am. Like, none of uh, those are gonna work. <laughs> I went to I went to Kroger the other day and I was like I saw where there were only three boxes of taco shells left and I needed three of them and I started faking like I was about to do a sneeze and just watch people kind of like quickly move away and I was just like yes I got my taco shells. What's well, funny? I've seen a picture. Oh, uh, I see. Roadbuster for you, Dakota. Yeah, man, mine will be here Wednesday. Mm. I think this is the Takara Tomy solicits, but that it's already good. shipping from Pulse, and I can't wait for it. I hope that we see Leadfoot. 
soon because I think Topspin is supposed to ship out in October. Um, yeah, October. Yeah, so Topspin ships out in October. Hopefully, we'll get Leadfoot, and hopefully, I don't have to sign up to be a Target Red member just to get this one freaking figure and nothing else from their website. You let me know. So. Right now, record. Oh, okay, sweet. Well, I'll just let Mike know, and that way you can uh, hold on to more of my stuff that you'll forget to bring to me the next yeah. time we meet up, if we ever get to meet up again. spotlight, and you see all the stuff that you told him to buy for you, like it's all on one of his shelves. <laughs> <laughs> because they have his stuff on uh, Mike's collection page. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. All right, so uh, getting into the third-party panel from TFCon. This was released on Sunday, so the day after we did the uh, last Cybercast show. So I figured we'd go through this. There's a few new things in here. Uh, Zeta Toys. So th they don't have the pictures the way I usually like them, so i got to scroll. Not Starscream? No, it's Blitzwing. You're right, man. Blitzscream. Yeah. Blitzscream. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The aerial bots. That's the Bumblebee no, it's movie. No, swing from the movie. Looks like Firecracker. He got a Firecracker. Yeah. And yeah, that, now I see. It. <laughs> Trash. I th I think it looks good for what it's yeah. supposed to. Be. Dude, I think like you're good if you're if you're getting the Studio Series. Like this Studio Series Blitzwing looks great. Like. I mean, I guess this is supposed to. Pro this is probably going to be like masterpiece scale or whatever. And okay, That's um, more accurate. I don't know, man. For that movie stuff, I think Studio Series is like the way to go. But yeah, for something that was in the movie less than five minutes. Well, I, yeah. I get what you're saying. If 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 you were into this line, uh, then yes, you would want the Studio Series. They're they're just better. Ooh, look, at, look at the lemon tree with uh, their nice paint. Dude, that's gonna I, get scuffed up. That's shiny. Barrett, what you think? I like it because, especially with like the front of the chrome part, it's giving it like a bit of that more textured effect. So it breaks. Chris is like, <laughs> Chris is like, I can't wait to drop this. <laughs> 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 yeah, well, Chris likes the shiny stuff, and this guy, he's got the shiny paint. So, look at their articulation. Nice. Yeah, and transforms. Yeah, not not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Full down squat on that. It looks good. Um, they also have a Blitzwing that they're doing in Star Cream colors and calling him Star Cream. I wonder why they're doing that. Star Cream isn't isn't it because he's already in Star Cream colors? Oh, they seriously calling it Star Cream? Star Cream? Yeah, yeah. Star Jesus. Cream. This Star this guy's Star name Star is Purple Potato. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what's, what's the Lord. name? Lemon, Lemon Prime. Tree. Lemon mm -hmm. Prime. Lemon Prime, that's it. Yeah. I well, like this. I think it's this, cool. This I is like. a cool concept. The, the fact that it turns into, well, that's supposed to be like Galvatron ship, isn't it? Yeah. It yeah. turns into Shockwave. Yeah, no, yeah. That's dope. I think that's a cool idea. I guess it's cool because we've never had a, oh, actually, no, technically we have, I suppose, uh, like a proper nemesis. No, Nem. The only that's one not, we've had. That's not the nemesis. Nemesis. Yeah, it's not the nemesis. Nemesis was Beast Wars. Mm -mm. It, that was the no dark side. Was, no, that was G one. Okay, this G one was Nemesis. What was that the, ship? Is uh, Galvatron's? But they never yeah. named it, right? Unicron gave it to him. It got a right. name, but I don't remember. It does. It was Purple Ship. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what was I thought it was Purple Potato. Um, I think it was Purple Potato. I think it was. I, I vividly remember that from the nineteen eighty six movie. My question movie. is: Is what's the price point on this to just get a ship that you wouldn't transform? Three squares of toilet paper. And mm. that, that's a bit fair steep. bargain. That's, that's a fair deep. bargain. It is. I was I was thinking two. But <laughs> two oh, fly, uh, two the flyer single. Bumblebee Cybertronian Soundwave. That's pretty neat. Yeah. And Ironhide too. It looks like. Which okay. like, Studio Series is starting to pump these out, man. Like ah, I like know. these are neat. Hey, these look dude. really good. But, that's uh, it. The Revenge. It's called the Revenge. Go. Revenge. Yeah. See? That's right. Why does he look like a dog? <laughs> oh, and this guy's name is Eggplant. Uh, I love these names. <laughs> Eggplant Party Jump, please. I wonder what scale these are in. Uh, it says 165 millimeters. Wow. Could yeah. you get those in freedom units, please? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Pepper. 
<laughs> um, lemon pepper. tree pepper. Okay, got it. 145 millimeters. Oh, Banana Force. Oh, Dakota, here you go. Where are they coming up with the names of these companies? I know. I mean, do you see 165 uh, millimeters for the last six? You know what they're saying? They're I saying was, all the all the good names were taken up. We're just going to make it up now. I'm pretty sure I thought that Banana Force stuff was actually officially licensed like Flame Toys. I could be wrong, and I may be wrong, but that's no. what I thought. I think it's no. interesting that they're well because they don't transform. I've, I've they're just never read that anywhere. They're just they're just action figures. It was so hard to keep up with all these yeah. freaking unofficial and official third party companies. So are these the but, same size as the Rebel Techs or not? No, they no they're they're bigger. They're bigger. Yeah, they're okay. bigger. But I think it's awesome they're doing the Lucky Draw Blackfire Convoy. I'm sure they'll do the God Magnus. Um, because I think the God, the regular fire convoy and the God Magnus that they're making can combine with each other, so they just can't transform into vehicle mode. That'd be pretty neat. That would be all right. That diatlas look pretty cool. Uh, transform element. This is a company that's knocking it out of the park. I think. Yep. Um, not and not just for the Beast War stuff, but like this looks really good. I've noticed the last couple of years, there's like more and more companies are bringing out figures that can transform. I think they've clicked onto people like, oh my god, this is amazing. All right, put on my shelf. There we go. Yeah, but these actually transform. Yeah, yeah this transforms. Yeah. These do transform. But, they're just, yeah. they're just um, a uh, Legends? Would that be a Legends scale? No, I think this no. is this this may be their like standard chug size. Because okay. they have like, they're doing like G1 MP, they're doing Beast Wars Legends, and then I think this is kind of like the standard. That, that's why I thought of Legends, because yeah. of all the Beast Wars that they've done. Dude, if this was Legend scale, this is crazy. I'm telling <laughs> yeah. you, like, yeah. very, very oh, intricate. It looks too good to not transform sort of thing. Or yeah, too but the... The fact that it does, man, like transform element really like I didn't really like the way their prime looked personally. I thought it was a little too simplistic. I didn't I just didn't mm -hmm. like it. But uh yeah, it but this this this, this is bad. crazy. Yeah. yeah. Now, I wonder if the head comes off because you can swap it with for like a G one head. That's I'm sure I it's a point. masked head. I, if I had to guess it'd be the battle mask. I, well, I don't know why you'd want a G one head though on this. Or yeah, me neither. Or reminiscent. I know the transformation's different too. I think it's for the battle mask head. Probably. There we go. I'm excited about this one. Oh, I actually have uh, some pictures of him. We'll look Brett is totally not biased about uh, the school. <laughs> uh, uh, that is my favorite character. Sorry. Really? Gang cool. oh, yeah. toys? Oh, yeah. You know about gang toys? Isn't this Toy World? Or yeah, was Toy World before they got put in jail? Gangster rap. Gang toys. So <laughs> this this dive but yeah, they came back under Kang Toys, but this dive bomb is very reminiscent of the dive bomb that appeared at the end of the Dawn of Futures Past comic. And I think I'm gonna end up with it. It looks it looks pretty cool. That dive bomb, he is one of the cooler looking ones, like even back in G1, he was a pretty awesome looking uh, Transformer. The thing I never liked about it, if, if you scroll up, that uh, head configuration is how the G1 was supposed to be done. The, the the beak wasn't supposed to go back. It was actually supposed to be like a like a bonnet, like a headpiece. Helmet? Yeah, like that. Oh, okay. that. That's actually how it was supposed to be. If you look in the comments. The and everything, that was cool. Yeah. So that's that's cool. I want to, yeah, I definitely want to see it all colored up um, because if it if it does, if it further evokes that Dawn of Futures Past uh, presence, uh, depending on the size, hopefully it isn't too big. Hopefully it's not much bigger than that Botcon Razor Claw. I'll 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 pick it up and that'll be the only one I get, which is weird, you know. But uh, and then I can just do customs of the other guys that appeared in the uh, last page of the book. Mm -hmm. No, you you need to get them all, Dakota. Nah. Don't Please. need them all. I, I just need I just need my my beast wars my my pre beast wars uh, displays look. at full. Look at that wingspan. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> ask, so are they leading on to like this is going to be another Predakin combiner? Haven't we gone past this? Like no, we, no. that that and Devastator. We just keep going back to it. Yeah, there's too many. There's just too many of them out there. Like, pick up the I, pick up the power of the primes one and just it, be happy. Exactly. Oh, I mean, the, the power of the primes definitely right scratches there. that itch. The, the, end of, the individual forms are trash, but like the combined forms are like where it's at. Correct. Chris, are you still collecting these? 
Yes. Um, when I find more room, <laughs> I want to get more. <laughs> but, I get more. <laughs> but yeah, I, you know what? I love Giga Power. I don't care what anyone says. It, it scales better. So they do. But yeah. It's yeah, like, why didn't you come out with these first off? Is why I was like, you. Okay, we're going to do the metallic version. Then we're going to do the chrome version. And then wait right. a while longer. Now we've got this one. No, it, I feel kind of robbed. Yeah, you were cheated. That's how I felt when this came out. I had already purchased two different sets starting because one was better than the other. And then I saw this and I was like, I'm done. I'm just, that's why I didn't go with it. But I actually did, felt that the size did, quality in this one was better. Did yeah. they ever finish the Dinobots? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Of yeah. the first set, right? Of the first, oh. before they did the repaints and the recolors and the blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. They yeah. still need a Grimlock. Yeah. See, this is where, like, repaints, I think some companies take it too far, and they just really tick me off about it, and I'm not the only one. Well, because they're milking it. They're just trying they're to... Kind of, they're milking us. And yeah, exactly. It's like... You see the face? Necessary. And the thing you know, is, with this with this set, with these figures, they're so big, you can't buy multiples. They just take up too much room. Well, well like I said again, real yeah. estate yeah. is the most essential thing that's going on in my collection. It, I don't have enough room. Then you get something this big. That's why I kind of like uh, like those those legends that are coming out. I collect those alongside the masterpiece because they don't take up a lot of room and they're neat. Right. And they're neat to fiddle with. Or they, so why not? And I think a lot of people are doing that. That's why these legend scales are coming out. That's a good point, actually. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah. My only objection with legends is their prices. They're a little steep. Well, look at masterpiece. Look, I know. Price, like I said, the price for the masterpiece, they're not yeah. worth what they're with, 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 with you Man, get. y'all broke asses just need to stop complaining about <laughs> prices of these damn toys. Just the money okay. bags here. Okay. Right. <laughs> for the ones that are complaining, just because I can hold my hands up, it's like I'm complaining about price and stuff, but I bought the Unicron thingy. So I, I have the right to complain. <laughs> oh, <say> it. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to fit in my room because I've barely got enough for a deluxe, but still. You and me both. Right. I'm just going to set that thing on the floor. <laughs> yeah. uh, moving on to fans toys uh fans hobby or fans hobby my bad the fans toys is a little bit later on but uh shooter shooter i generally thought it said ace hitler then i i i almost <laughs> <tried. laughs> like it's close. Dude, it's close it's only a matter of time before one of these third-party companies <laughs> makes they've already made a satan so i mean <laughs> yeah they're not too so far away I, from hitler i would get this because it's an rx7 I, I love mean, that monster. I don't think it looks terrible. That ball joint just sitting there looks a little weird standing up on that. Is this supposed to be MP? Yes. Yeah. Did we ever see how their Minerva turned out? Or is that yeah. still kind of... It's, it's it's further down. It's final stage, isn't it? Yeah. It's further along than this, yeah. Because, they, yeah, I was going to say they should picture them together. Well, in the last picture, then just showed it came with a clear. Well, it was a clear stand holding up, so wherever that comes as well, that would be pretty cool. So, uh, 173 of... millimeters, whatever that is. Not freedom units, oh, I tell you. There we go. <laughs> but uh, you know, th these just don't. I don't the think these look cigarette. bad. Just show the pack of cigarettes. Just show the... Yeah. <laughs> show, can we can we see the the fingernails that haven't been cut in six months? I was That's gonna say we, I, I didn't think yeah. we could do the pack of cigarettes anymore because that might be against you know, YouTube standard. So we don't want that. Oh, an, not, an upgrade for their Overlord. I don't color me surprised. Overlord it looks that good. Well, it just kills me that they think it was so bad that they had to make an upgrade kit to it. I think it's well. The thing is, I think <laughs> they, I think they were struggling between like an IDW aesthetic and a G1 aesthetic, and they found somewhere in the middle that didn't really work for either. Um, I picked up the the uh, the Takara Legends Overlord from Agabus uh, not too long mm. ago, and I love that thing. Like I, I was about to get Carnifex, but I was like, you know what, man this this Overlord does it scratches the itch. Like it's pure yeah. Headmasters cartoon Overlord, but like I'm I'm about I went, it. Like, I went with the it. Hasbro one, and I almost bought the other, but I went with the Hasbro just because it was on clearance. It was good, dude. So you can you those. can combine them. You can like there's like yeah. a, a weird combination in the manga. Uh, so I'm thinking about. I think Big Bad still has a clearance. Uh, still has the Hasbro Ooh. one on clearance, and I may okay. pick it up just to like display them in that weird All dual right, combined thing. You're right. Show me what you're talking about. Naval Commander thing. Uh, and I guess Armada Prime Mini Robot. That looks mini, mini Con. Man. <clears throat> well, 
Okay, that. so so this is this is the scale of the original Armada mini cons, and and really those things are pretty small. They're like they're they're like MicroMaster small, but um, as far as like accuracy, it's not <clears throat> like the robot mode. I don't think is accurate to Transformers Armada. Uh, I think I think he was spark plug. No, it, it, don't say the other name. But it's I can't I can't remember the other name. I know. But, uh, but it's it. really it's really like the, the fact that it's that this looks like it's going to be sized to that Armada uh, scale and, and aesthetic. Like I don't know, dude. Like I'm I'm still holding out for the Takara Tomy mm-hmm. Armada Prime because they teased it and you know maybe maybe we'll get it and and I'd rather just spend sixty to. 80 bucks on that instead of 150 to 200 on this. Um, but this is cool, man. I'm glad they're giving Armada love. I loved Armada as a show and uh, the toys are just super lacking. I mean, it looks like, I, it looks like fun to play with. I guess if you play with your toys and stuff like that, but this is a adult collector item, you know, like. Well, oh, Armada, just- like. Our motto was definitely like about that gimmick and play feature sort of oh, thing, yeah. and you know the I think the the original toy for Prime, Leader Class Prime, like they call them Power Pants Prime, uh, mm-hmm. but like it had a it had you know it was the trailer mode, then it became a base, and then it like folded. Uh, it, oh man, it folded even more to uh, to to be the legs of the super robot, like yeah move the legs. to be the pants yeah it was to be the pants yeah. it was the yeah. pants yeah. all right so fans toys finally you know how long they've been working on this sound wave this it was actually so announced before 2012 uh, before yeah. they came uh to car and hasbro came out wow. with their sound wave and whenever they Dude. they heard that they were like all right we'll pump the brakes on him we'll start working on some other stuff now they've made this some thing. Movies. Stuff, but has been eight years eight in the years. making. <laughs> this yeah. is supposed to make better be spectacular. It will be because yeah. you can have it as a cartoon look or as a more detailed toy look. Yeah, so just, just by the head. head it, hang on. If more than that. Finish, the head, the chest, you can see here the legs too. And the shoulder. Man, take, take, take your broke self to Toys R Us and get you MP Toys R Us sound, uh, sound screen, whatever his name is. <laughs> I, I do kind of like the fact that you can flip flop between the two versions. That's pretty yeah. cool. That is cool, and it's more just than, than just a head swap, right? Someone's got an eighteen wheeler like, going through their house. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the original version. What they have now, and like comparing it, literally the only difference is. You know how like the Giga Power stuff is like really like tweaked out and like they try and get like all that um panel lining work and stuff. Yeah. The old version highlighted that more, but apart from that, it's like it's practically the same thing. It's just that amount of time, it's just that's the best you could have come up with. Well, no, but but I also look at it, at least they tried. Uh, you know, they yeah. tried to add they they added, you know, of course it took them eight years, but they they, they tried to make why couldn't know. they just do a blaster? Because we only ever had one and I, still like you're we're right. waiting on that because people say, you know, hey, one day we're going to get a blaster. Like, you know, the G1, um, well, the G1, uh, the Galvatron, isn't that right, Josh? You know, we're going to get that one day. It's coming, man. the fire going. Yeah, well, here's yeah. here's the side by side comparison that you can do with them at like I'm I'm loving this look. I think the legs look cleaner. Also, I think the legs look cleaner on this than they do on the Hashtag one. Yeah. Right. A little, yeah. I, I'm I'm telling John Warden on you. <laughs> I, 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 hey, if I, if I was Dalton, then you'd have something to to go I, to. Him with, I'm just I'm not, hoping I'm not friends with them. So. I'm just hoping we get a masterpiece, original, you know, uh, Takara Hasbro blaster before I retire. I mean, yes, you know, I want to give him at least you know a few days, but before <laughs> I retire, come on. And this is me oh, knowing that I'm the oldest person here, but still. <laughs> oh, Josh, have you told all your listeners that uh, you are millennial trash, just like me? Uh, what is it? Uh, 28 days. <laughs> yeah, I had by, to look it up. By, by like 58 days. Still, still millennial trash, bro. Me and you, avocado toast. No, That's just no. us. No. Ice coffee. Yeah, Dude, because I I don't act like millennial. He doesn't act like you, Dakota. I mean, he just. He does. He, no, no. he 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 hated on Super Megatron, therefore saying Beast Wars was better. Y'all heard him say it. I heard him say it. 
Um, I've, I've never in my life said Beast Wars. I've never even. Yeah. <laughs> someone, someone, real quick, real quick, someone grab that clip. Someone, <laughs> by, by inclusion, you did. So. I like that Ravage show. That's nice. Yeah. I, I never was really satisfied with the official one we got. This, this That's, a yeah. That's a sassy dog. That's a real sassy dog. Just just didn't look good enough. I actually thought the the you know Rumble and Frenzy looked really good. Even the laser beacon buzzsaw, but Ravage just never looked on par with those. It's weird. It's like they can't do Ravage for some reason. I don't know. So so, so Tesla 2.0, so they, they redid him. They're coming out with him again because they didn't do him right the first time. Is that what exactly. I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. It looks the uh -huh. same. No, it's quite a bit different. Yeah. They changed the elbows. They changed the panel lining. They so added they, the articulation. Are they going to let you return all your 1.0 since they were like, <laughs> yeah, this is, we, we, we put well, out an inferior product the first time. The 1.0s are plummeting in value now because of this. I wonder why. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's weird because you're never going to see this for like the next six years. So. I know. Better mm. to do it now than later. Well, it looks like they improved the feet. They improved yes. the elbow joint. And the uh, head, so the face. All that. Yeah. He now has look like an ab crunch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does the microscope work? <clears throat> They're going to give him a sniper rifle and a, an eye patch? <laughs> Arr. He's a pirate now. Yeah. Arr. He's Perceptar. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't know you were a dad's boy. <laughs> wow. Dude, all, that, all that was one of my jokes. jokes man. <laughs> that was my joke. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Sport, sports fronting, man. He's got a couple kids out there coming up with jokes like that. Hey, hey, Dakota, just make sure Tyler, you know, writes this stuff down because he's going to need it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm, well, I mean, the thing is, I think it's, I think it's just like, it's, it's come out in his genetics now. It uh, happens. It does. It's dad is, genetics. Yeah. It happens. It's not a bad crew, though. I think the RC. Wait, I'm waiting, good. waiting on the Takara uh, Springer. Car needs to do that spring. Offer is there, there is everyone's a, favorite? I'm yeah. saying, like, is it was there some like big, huge fandom or something on the boards that are like just huge Huffer fans that are like fan toys? Yo, <laughs> people yeah, can finally was... unload their people can finally unload their KFC <laughs> and their bad cube. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you need to do that, but Prime, my arm. <laughs> I remember back in the day, I always used to like have conspiracies. Like, I wonder if like all this add-on kits and all these companies are like, is it just like Hasbro and the car? We like, oh, we we didn't make this product as like, as good as we wanted to, so let's just make this one. And be like, uh, okay, so we're gonna charge you, or really, it would be like three or four quids for us to like rectify it. But no, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna charge you like 30, 40 quid, and then use an add-on kit. Give us. We money. we don't know what a quid is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> quid. Um, is that is that a dollar? Is it is five? That, is that the guy from uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, like Peter Quinn? Right? What? So you've got like a, a dollar, or you call it a buck, and we've got like a pound, but no one says pound unless you're square, and we just call it a quid. Why did nerd. they change, why <laughs> did they change it? I've, I've heard you say pounds before. Yeah, why did they change it? say pounds because it makes it easier, so people like, ah, but then like, uh, like no, 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 he's a square, so... It's like a square is also like a cigarette. It's like, oh, I'm just going to bring the else. No, no, hey, no, no, we're not going to go through all the names that what cigarettes are called. Yeah, I, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Some of them are not very good. Yeah. Brett, Brett, how dare you I talk about just, those on this no, show? I was. <laughs> Topic of discussion. That's all. So it, they, they haven't done a jazz? I thought they did a jazz. No, they? they're working no, on it. No, that was Make now. Toys. Which is really good. Maybe yeah. they just showed this off like three or four years ago, and I just remember it from then. So entirely possible. Mm. This looks good. Hey, what, what's going on with this up here? What's that big gap right there? Looks like it's a spoiler. <laughs> they even know they. Ain't no spoiler up here in the fender. <laughs> a vent. It's a vent. Yeah. Intake vent. Yeah. It's an air vent. Intake vent. There you go. Yep. Yep. You don't have intake vents facing back. Uh, if, be, if you put a wide, if you put a wide body kit on it, which looks this, like this you put a wide body kit on it, your intake oh. would be. Uh, you'd actually have a. 
uh, oh, what's it called? Oh, over there. I see what you're saying. Okay. And the front gear. I, I'm talking yeah. about this gap here. Right. Sorry. Yeah. See, the uh, wide the body kit makes sense because this they're is, really good at running away. This, see, you would have an intercooler here because it's turbocharged. See, Josh, you're always talking about performance, but you need to you need to educate in uh, aesthetic. It's all about aesthetic. Educate. Drip, son. You got to drip. Yeah. So, so I should put a, a, a big spoiler on my front wheel drive car. Heck yes. Yeah. A bunch of yeah. Stickers on it. Oh, Dakota, I, I, I got to ask you real quick. Are you just trolling with me when you're like, hey, one of the first things I'm going to do in my car is put an underglow kit? On no, it. dude, I'm dead serious. Like whenever, whenever, uh, whenever I go I take the, whenever right. I go take the loan out, the the absolute first thing I'm doing is putting Lambo tail lights on it and underglow, and I'm uh, doing everything from the headers back on the exhaust. Oh my goodness, dude. Yeah, I need that one. Yeah, Get that so Subi Rumble, bro. <laughs> God. It's just wrong. Uh, Mirage is blurry, but, yeah. He's like, next step is the It'll stickers. Yeah. Mm, has a lab Unicron? I'm shocked. <laughs> no, got, uh, what, what's, what's their name? Their, it was Zeta, but yeah. it's, this is like Studio Zero One or something like that. Some kind of like weird it's one-off name. Yeah, something B, I thought. We yeah, look, maybe we this look, it is We looked at it last week. Zeta disguise. Everyone was losing their mind, like, yeah, this is the Unicron, it's the definitive one. And then they pair up and realize how small they're he's, like, sm he's oh, smaller God. than uh, Omega. Omega. Yeah, yeah uh, he's I, I like literally know. the same size, if not a little bit smaller than um, Generations. Well, you, that's you know. fine. Everybody, everybody who's going to buy this little bitty baby Unicron, I'll let y'all play with my HasLab Unicron so you know what, you know, Big Unicron feels like. I just, I just can't believe they went through all this effort and everything. They couldn't get rid of that collar thing that goes around his head. It's so distracting. I just wanted to clear us here, just in case anyone asks me in the future. That's the only thing I'm not doing a drop test on is Unicron. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will, so I'm, on. I'm disappointed. No. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I feel like it's gonna have to pass a drop test, like it for, for the, like the standard Hasbro QC. Yeah, I definitely like we should all bombard Hasbro Pulse like, hey, can we get drop test videos of the Unicron after it's been tooled up? That'd be fun. Right. This thing can't be. I mean, I mean, there's a bunch of gaps here, so it's probably not final. But so I'm, I'm, I'm trying I to figure like, out all over the place. Why is the base part of the body and still the base? It's, it looks like there's just two different pieces. Yeah, yeah, two different parts. But you can make a stand be out of it. That's what they're. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you I can make a stand moment. out of it. But okay. like, it's supposed to be like whenever he was uh, sucking in the planet to eat it. Right, right. <coughs> I did see a transformation video on this. Uh, I, to be fair, it, like not to bash it too much, like there it is. Apart from the size, it's really well done. Like the transformation's amazing. I will give him that. He's just small. I just can't believe they couldn't get rid of that little neck piece thing. It's so distracting. Well, it's accurate. Hard the collar? Been... The collar is accurate. accurate. I don't remember the yeah. collar being on him. Yeah. I 100% so remember it. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm the Beast Wars guy, and I remember the collar. What's wrong with you? It's just because it's thick. Uh, it's Autobot face, man. <laughs> who, who is this? Who is this? Oh, oh, uh, Desaurus. Okay. Oh. This thing's been on pre-order for a year now. He can uh, go against uh, Decepticon face, man. Ugh. Oh, what? this I can't wait for. This is this is IDW uh, more than meets the eye Chrome Dome. It's accurate to the source material for what it's worth. And, uh, wow. I'm oh, super, right. That's terrible, then. Yeah, I'm super fun. excited. Super excited for this. And the Rewind. Supposedly, the Chrome Dome and Rewind are going to be in a two-pack. Mm -hmm. uh, but look at this. Transtech Sheet Orb, please. Mm -hmm. I feel still like we've already seen these. Yeah, I feel like yeah. Okay. stuff that. Well, well, this is this is supposed to be the uh, animation colors one, but okay. Uh, Chang toys. Kang. Kang Another toys. one. Kang toys. Kang Here we toys. go. Again. Here we go. Another. No, this uh, is the same the same one that we were looking at the uh okay. the dive bomb from earlier. Yeah, same company. This is Dang. Land Bull. Eh. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. 
to be fair, it does look good. Whether the combined mode will work out, but I think it's in like detail and like aesthetic. I kind of like these more than the others. Oh, but I'll say it again. The I mean, Mastermind the, Creations ones. Well, but the, the Power of the Primes is so it, it's there and it was cheaper. It was it, it, it it's there. Why move on to something else? There's so yeah. many other characters to do. Power move of the on. Primes was more uh going for that G1 toy. <laughs> Right. You know, looked where this is kind of like Mastermind Creations. I believe you could have both of them because that was more uh, stylized. Where that's what this one looks like, more stylized. Look. Is this more like IDW? Doesn't look uh, like it. Looks very detailed. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just like I said, there's there's so many other characters out there. Let's 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 get to them instead of keep reinventing the wheel over and over again. Well, I it's it is third you. party, you know. All we need is someone to make like uh, the original um, primes, and there you go. You're going to sell like hotcakes because no one's ever done it before. But it's one day they'll click on. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, this is uh, TFC Toys. Uh, they're doing an abominus. And uh, I, I remember uh, Dalton, he commented on Facebook. He goes, TFC Toys is still around? Exactly. What? <laughs> Oh, this is the Satan you're on about. Oh, I see. Yeah, so this is the not Ripper Snapper. So these are going to be a masterpiece scale? Yeah. I'm more assuming. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like that's, all that's what, stuff. Right, exactly. I can't believe they haven't done an Abominus yet. Hey, what's up, Kurt Fury? I've had a few of the TFC stuff. I, I was going down with them with their aerial bots, and then I got about, I guess, three in. And then after that, I was like, yeah, I, I don't I don't want to do this anymore. Well, I will say one thing. I think it, with these third parties, they really need to – I understand spacing it out between each release, but they need to make them closer together because, let's face it, with everyone else doing the same thing, you're going to lose interest. They yes. really do. They need to, well, they need to rush them up. It's quicker. hard to keep up with, like, if whenever they were doing the like three or four different companies were doing the same thing, and one would release something, it was hard to keep up with. Like, okay, so who does this belong to? You know? Yeah. Well, that's why anytime I did, if I was looking at third party, I would always wait to see what, if I could, what everyone did, so you can make the most educated, you know, purchase of of what's out there. But it, it's hard to do that. It really is, especially if they, you know, one one releases this year and then the other, uh, the next one's not till next year. It's kind of hard to make your purchase price knowing that. All right, so here's uh, unique toys. Here's your TFC, and then here's the Hasbro one. I wish they wouldn't have put this stupid chess piece on the Hasbro one, but uh, I mean, the the price scaling between this and what these are is like, you know, it's night and day. You know, you're talking about fifteen dollar figure, and you're talking about like almost a hundred dollar figures. But mm -hmm. uh, right, I do not like the unique toys stuff. I think it's like it's too squarish, and I do think that these beasts should be kind of more curvy and stylized, or like you just stick with the G1 style. I agree. I think I think uh, one looks too much like the other. When well, the one in the middle is completely unique, if you're going to pay the extra money, there you go. Yeah, so I'm not a I'm not a huge TFC toys fan or you know fan but yeah that for abominus this looks too square oh absolutely you know? like, like it's superior or something you know yeah they, they these hands has bro yeah they're terrible come on they are, they are but it's Uh, Dalton says G1 fan saying G1 characters is too squarish. No, I'm talking about for uh, <laughs> uh, Here we if, go. If, if you yeah. listen to what I said, I said abominus. I was like, I he's said, supposed I to said, be. He's I said a boy, monster. I said boy. He's monsters <laughs> and he's supposed to be curvy like a bunch of the other ones. Right. Not look like square, you know, like things like Superion is what I said. So here we go. Right. Here's your transform element, Scorponok. Yes. Love it. Buying them all. Kind of a big boy. So these are legend scale, you said? Yeah. Um, oh, bummer. Here's, here's the Black Arachnia. 
I mean, that's how small she is. I don't know. Blanks it right there. Man. I bet we could do this. Look at this. There we go. It's a dollar bill. I mean, she is small. Wow. So take that and you get to, you get the idea of how small these are. But they're they're super neat, super detailed. I love them. Not to mention, so far, this is the first uh, remold or remake of Scorponok we've had today. Here we got a Steelers fan. All right, here's the uh, New Age Toys Legend Scale. Okay, first question, why? Holder? He's a Steelers fan. This what's is uh, th what's, uh, that's uh, Rick's team. Yeah, gold and black and... Uh, his quarterback likes to trap college girls. Oh, uh, <laughs> twice. <laughs> wow. Twice. Twice. <laughs> not, not once. It wasn't a misunderstanding. This happened twice. <laughs> <laughs> it was still misunderstanding. <laughs> as soon as he settled with that, he got married. Yep. <laughs> oh man, that was fun. That <laughs> this is Rick. Whenever he sees all his his players are disappearing off his team. Yeah. Waist swivel. See that Hasbro? You can do a waist swivel. Uh, Dalton's going to pick this up because it's translucent. Yeah. Coronation set for a translucent black and gold star screen. Makes makes a lot of sense. So. Awesome. Is GPS I like it because it got them New Orleans Saints colors on it. Yeah. All right, so there, here's uh, this guy, Banana Force. Just uh, sample images, dude. I uh, I think it'll be funny if the encore, if they, well, I, I don't think it'll happen because I think the encore, the molds were shot on it, and they had such a bad problem with it, they uh, that they issued refunds all around. But if they did repair the mold to do Lucky Draw colors. I would laugh so hard. But, I mean, this is neat, I guess. I don't know. It's not for me. It doesn't transform. Yep. Not for me either. All right. Here is – God, what was this company's name? Uh, Black Apple. Those oh, guys. Them. So, um, everybody's favorite transformer duo, Combiner. Didn't Black Apple do the oversized Revenge of the Fallen Megs? I think. I have no idea. Oh, Skids and Mudflap. Uh, the most prominent of the G1 characters in the movies. Yes. In the live action movies. I like Every, it. Everyone's favorite. Got Michael Bay. Look at the, the buck teeth here. And... Hey. <laughs> oh, and Toy World. There you go, Dakota. Ooh, look at that. Very purpley. Yeah, dude, it's about time. Uh, they only released a dumb Grimlock repaint first, and then now they're finally mm -hmm. like getting to these. I, I personally, I did not pick this one up. Uh, my buddy Tyler did, and it's getting shipped to me, uh, so I can kind of take a look at it. And if I'm impressed with it, then uh, it's a uh, deluxe scale, right? Uh, no, it's legend size, so it's gonna be oh, okay. smaller. Oh. Yeah, and it may be the size of a deluxe if it's in that legend scale, but I thought they were saying like a small deluxe, deluxe scale, uh, size. So I thought that's what it was. It's definitely not masterpiece. Definitely not. Comes with right, deck. right. It's a bummer that it's not. Well, so, but I, mean, I don't know. Is, you know, it's just the original with a few tweaks. I mean, I, if I did a masterpiece, I want it to be completely redesigned and 
you know. See, I dude, you know, that's the thing with trans metals. With trans metals, man, like, and I don't know if we've got the trans art one coming up later in the news, but um, the trans metal stuff was already show accurate. Had a show accurate transformation, show accurate yeah. look. Yeah, but you can, you, you can really always improve. You know that. Yeah, and, and I'm sure I feel like trans art will with with theirs, and I feel like uh, Toy World did with this. But there's only so many ways to skin that cat, and True. accuracy is going to be key. So, uh, trans art. Ooh. Here's some more. Yep. Uh, Here we go. Yep. Just we were just talking about it. So like, this is this is masterpiece scale, yeah. and um, it definitely has a lot of the same kind of. Uh, transformation schemes and things like that that the original sure. toy has. But again, that brings us back to the original toys were so accurate. But this one has more, well, more articulation, better, and you know, more sh like sh t accurate to the show sculpt. Sure, you know, the um, big thing on this I don't understand. Uh, one, one, I never could understand why the original didn't have the blaster hook onto the surfboard like this did. I, I always thought that this this should have been like that, which is. Mm -hmm. But the thing that bugs me is, is that I don't use these stands. They're worthless to me. I would rather either it be cheaper <laughs> or, or whatever. I don't. That's care so for funny. That does look yeah. Cool. <laughs> but you know what I'm but, um, I, mean, I don't. I don't use the stand. They take up. The thing is, like, you don't. You don't need the stand though. Like, the stand isn't necessary. It's just a, a bonus touch. It is, but, but I'd rather. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> bonus. Touch. You better like that. <laughs> <laughs> But, you see, but yeah, you so have a plaster hooks onto the right. It, it gets onto the surfboard instead of onto his thigh, like on the original toy. Correct. And you I know, but it can still it can still store on the thigh, like like we saw. But sure. again, the the sculpt is more accurate. Looks like there's I mean there's definitely wow. more points of articulation. I um, love that its name is Skateboard Gorilla. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trans art keeps it pretty simple. Do you, think, do you think they'll actually make a an official? No. Transmetal? I don't think they're no, transmetal. No, I don't think they'll do transmetals at all, and that's oh, why I'm. That's why I'm go, fine. Yeah, we got to go outside for this. Yeah, yeah. Same with the transmetal twos. So that's that's why I'm good with this, and this will be my masterpiece, transmetal primal. Now, if they do, if they do go into transmetal and transmetal two, then sweet. It just means I have a, a a second one to display. You know, I'll keep them both. I got no problem with that. You know, I do like this one. This one looks really, really good. I don't think so, but I'm glad you guys are happy. You, you got to look at what we they can. They need to work on those face sculpts. They need to work on those face sculpts. But other yeah. than that, there's at least one agreeable face sculpt per mode. Here's the Minerva uh, from Fans Hobby, or not Minerva. This could be really close to being released, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, gotta be. I, I don't. It, it doesn't do it for me. I love that Fans Hobby is like. Yeah getting so outside of the box from everyone else. Like they did monster bots. No one else has done monster bots. You know, they're doing headmaster stuff. No one else is doing headmaster stuff. That's, that's so. the whole idea. You get, you got to go with what's not being done out there. That's yeah. why I, mm -hmm. I'm saying about reinventing the wheel. This is great. Not the only did they do this. They did something that the uh, original G ones didn't do. This is a female character and they portrayed her as such. I think that's, that's, it looks good. Yep. It looks really good. I'm but at Master every, Force, but every, yeah, whatever. Every yeah. every G1 uh, fan out there wants a Minerva. Like that would be like in their Mount Rushmore. Like, hey, it, like if you're a G1 toy collector, you know, with with the Japanese and stuff, and be like, what's what's one toy that you want that's perfect, pristine, absolute white? I would argue in that in in pristine condition, it's a Grail. It's uh, you know. Oh yeah. yeah. Here, here's my thing and to those that do Joe's. Did they do Joe's? I wouldn't put her as like this is your Scarlet for your Joe's, but this is definitely like your Lady J or Cover Girl. Your second, Cover Girl, yeah, I was thinking yeah, Cover Girl. You know what I'm saying, um, second tier character, not first tier, but definitely important. Absolutely, because I'm sorry, RC would be the the, the number one. That would be the Scarlet. Right. You think they would retool this into Nightbeat? Think no, they could they, retool it in a night beat? They have a night beat. Fans, fans, how he does? I'm almost positive they had two different no. ones. I, uh, no, I haven't, I haven't I seen the so. night beat. No, I haven't either. I've only seen the Minerva. 
That's why I thought this was so close to no, was that head that they did. They did one other besides this. Now they're they're doing shooter, but yeah. This this mode, the car mode looks nice to me. I just I'm not really digging the robot mode that much. It's also cool that, that you can be able to put the headmaster in there too. All right, just the one photo of this, but fans hobby, their first uh little color test shot. This is their uh yeah, because then I think they've already done the the Thunder Clash. So yeah. this, I think this was just a given to do Machine Wars Prime. I hope Hasbro gives us a mainline Thunder Clash pretty soon. It's coming. It's on the way, guys. Yeah. New <laughs> toys. The uh, chair. A I'm nice sorry. Little chair there. It was uh, a blanket covers legs. <laughs> yeah. it, it was Ghost Shooter. I was thinking of. That's the one that they did. Well, they're coming out. Mm -hmm. We just looked at him. Yeah, yeah, they're just yeah. coming. They're about to come out with it. Yeah, so they have those two. They they haven't done one before, though, right? No. That, nope. That, that all timers, man. It, <laughs> it, 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 dementia. It, well, and that, and that, that, that circles back to there being too many companies to follow. Yeah, it, it's like. It but I was trying to think of it. If this was their first, I thought it was almost towards you know release. They're getting ready to release it. So the next one's going to be. Uh, those those Go shooter, okay. Yeah, he's the one that we looked at from the TFCon panel. Uh, here's Iron Factory. Hey, you get oh. this, Cody? Little, 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 little sauce. Little Dude, thing? honestly, um, because uh, Hasbro is rumored to be making an exhaust for uh, the the Selects line, I'm just gonna wait on that. I'm just gonna get the <laughs> get the Hasbro one. But this would be his little brother. This would be his little baby. <laughs> little baby. Yeah, definitely, definitely little baby. Yeah. I can't believe they actually put the Marlboro logo on it. Marlboro? 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 That's, not, that's, that's, not, that's not how you spell it, is it? No, it's no. close. <laughs> it's close <laughs> enough for government work. I, I close enough for Philip Morris to come after him, I'll tell you that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Remember whenever they, they, they flipped out because uh, just this, with the, the little corner? On the MP? Like, yeah, on the yeah. MP. And they had to like cancel them for that, and then like come back and be like, uh, "What?" It's what not they like they they, they, they had to like open. They it had to remove triangles. It, it, yeah, they it couldn't to, be yeah, a triangle. They had to repaint it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they, and they, then and then TF Source, then TF Source gets their stock in, sends it off to someone, and they're like, "Guys, we opened all your figures for you, and had someone professionally paint them." Yeah. Meanwhile, like, there's just like there's just some jerk with a red sharpie just. Just keeping in the lines, like <laughs> yeah, that was, Dude, yeah. I'm painting up the Marlboros for TF Source. Dude, Dude I, I, I was one of the first ones to get mine, and like mine was fine, you know, like the, so there was nothing uh, wrong with it uh, that I remember. Uh, but remember when we went to God, what, what was Dude, it? Dude, uh, two the, years in a row, bro. The two years in a these, row. Like, like they're online. So they're online. People, the the exhaust and like people were selling them for like forty dollars or whatever, like that. Like this value. This is before the KO. Yeah, this is before the KOs too. Yeah, and but this dude, what was he trying to get? Like a hundred. He was trying to get a hundred. No, he was trying to get like hundred and eighty bucks for it. Jesus. And, and I, I'm just like, dude, mm. like, like I'll give you a hundred, you know, just so to take it off, you know, the last day. And like, I'm like 180, like that's ridiculous. You know, I was like, I can go online and buy I offered him 40, 50 bucks. I offered him half. And he was like, no, I'll get rid of it. And then we came back the next year and he had it. And I was like, Hey man, you never got rid of that exhaust. Did you? And uh, <laughs> he would not talk to me. He, he wouldn't, he wouldn't acknowledge me. The same price too. He still had it. You know, you know, the following year he didn't sell it again. He he just didn't bring it up there. He was like, No, I'm not gonna run into these guys at jerks again, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, it was so funny because like as soon as I was just like, Hey, uh, see so you still got that exhaust. <laughs> he, like he started talking to Josh immediately. He wasn't talking to me like at all. <laughs> all right, Mike. Here you go, That's man. You've been, thirsty. You've been thirsty. Yeah, buddy, we're getting our six-inch Destro, which I already knew was happening, but... Well, I, want, I want that Pimp Daddy. I do, too. Yes. I, want re I want a recolor Pimp Daddy Destro. I will buy I think that. If, I, will, I will be floored if they do Pimp Daddy Destro. I think they that would be hilarious. I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get it because, I mean, I got snake eyes. I'm done. But uh, I think it'd be funny. But this does look good. 
I can't wait for the three and three quarter inch version. Yeah, you keep holding your breath for that one, buddy. <laughs> well, supposedly they're doing a uh, Walmart. Walmart's doing three and three quarter inch. It's it's all about the six inch now, man. Yep. Yeah, until they till they don't sell. So uh, I saw that which company was it? One of them uh, was it Entertainment Earth or so, somebody was like, "What what scale you know do you collect in?" And the three and three quarter inch was losing like uh like six inch scale was first was like 50 percent of the votes then it was one six scale and then it was like some weird scale like oh it was quarter scale quarter scale was beating three and three quarter inch scale <laughs> yeah that's entertainment earth man no one shops for them anyways they get everything I, I, last I it was like an entertainment earth or what some some company you know uh but hey mike are, how good is entertainment earth with their word I can't say I can't say that on the show. What I want to say. They put a restraining order on it. No, this, you need to go to Angry Mike. Go to Angry Mike. This was Twitter. This was Twitter. Twitter voting. So it was people. Oh, voted. Twitter! Even better. You mean everyone that makes sense? Every, no, no one. No one that's like completely out of their breath in anything. Well, if it's on Twitter, it must be true. Dude, uh, if, if it's Twitter, clearly, like, those are the real fans. Like, right everyone there, should be ignored except for tr uh, Twitter fans. Yeah. Right there, the uh, the box art on that Destro looks amazing. I almost don't even want to open it up when I do get it. I still haven't I, opened up my Snake I, Eyes. I love the way it's presented. Neither, neither have I. I haven't opened it up yet, either. You yeah. open yours up yet, Josh? Uh, no, I haven't yet. Definitely wouldn't because it's got the wrong head. So. <gasps> What? Oh, how dare you! It's the correct I'm head. Waiting. It's the V2 head. She's like, no, what? V1, baby, version one. That's what I'm waiting on. Honestly, All I right. like them both, but like this is definitely this is definitely V2 snake guys. They're, uh, they're, yeah, like the the, uh, they're bringing back the carbonized stuff for black. Surprise, series. surprise. So what? Boba Fett, <laughs> he's I, I'm shiny, I'm, shiny Boba. I've got I've got one on pre order, but man. I don't. I don't like this. It doesn't look very good with those shiny pants. Is that what the my, difference is in this? Is his shiny? silk pants. What you got to get some silk <laughs> pants. <laughs> I got my vintage collection Mandalorian in, and like I can't wait for them to announce the vintage collection Beskar Mando. Man, I want that chick in the six inch. What's her Cara name? Dune, bro. Yeah. I want her one one. It does not. <laughs> one one. Uh, a, a, a foam. Bro, Gina Carano is straight wife material. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's uh, Henry Cavill's wife. For real? Yeah, not well. Yeah. What uh, a shame. This is yeah. uh, the carbonized stormtrooper, which. Hey, got, Chris is stuck he, backstage. I got three of these in it. What, what do you mean? He Chris, he's dropped. You got to bring him back. Oh, he had a refresh. Bring him back. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah. I was like, hey, Josh, give me a, a real. Quick tutorial. What's the difference on these new series all of a sudden, or is these of these good. rehashed series? It's just carbonized versions. Carbonized versions. It's just oh, okay. they just sell you the same thing, but like with shinier colors. Yeah. Oh wow! Well, and not even necessarily there, accurate, but... and like they're not even necessarily accurate either. It's no, just so they, metallic they, paint colors. They've done it for the uh, is it seventh sister. Uh, they've done it for the Mandalorian so far, and. Let's see. They did it for the white uh, jet trooper from the new movie. I would, I would, I would have to look through them and see what they did. But so far, I've bought them all, uh, just because you know I collect them all. Because <laughs> I got an addiction. <laughs> <laughs> got to catch them all. <laughs> I, got, I don't have a problem. So we got a, <laughs> we've got a, a new Darth Vader uh, coming in as well. So you get a different cape. Probably some different color buttons here. Uh, our first Ewok in the Black Series, General Akbar. Uh, we get him, or is a Admiral Akbar? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, no, yeah. it's called a, it's Bes a trap. Beskar, Beskar Mando. Yeah. yeah, Beskar Mando. Man, that means vintage collection is. is no, those look, no, those really look bad. Enough. They all look good. The yeah. Ewok, because like you know, besides like the little stuff and the painted man, like now we can start pumping out some Ewoks. We can get some Wicket and some of the other ones. Get the, get the Mamo with the little baby Ewok. Let's see that Beskar Mando. 
Hey, man, we, we're looking at Akbar first, man. Bye, 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 bye. That's Akbar, no Nick. <laughs> now I've got to grab the... me by the neck. Bro, why are you lying, Akbar? God, which one is that, which one is that from? He came in a two pack. Uh, was it General Akbar then? I'm trying to think of what movie that was. That was episode seven, wasn't it? Or eight, eight. You got the vintage collection stuff pulled up because there's a few of those I wanted to talk about. But if yeah, not, it's fine. It's, it's going to be on this page too. This yeah. looks really good. I like I like the cloth, cloth front, the, the everything looks really good. Oh, another Darth Vader. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll, I like it. They always have to do it with Darth Vader. What's the I know, difference? I, I don't one? understand that the the lightsaber doesn't look right, but. Everything else looked okay. That little it's circle red, thing, red. the little circle thing at the top, doesn't look right. Uh, that's probably safety. Is, is that whatever. an angle? You see what I'm saying? Uh, the saber it, before it, the blade. Yeah. Yeah. It, it may. Uh, you're talk. Are you talking about this little loop here? Yeah. yeah it just it just doesn't look right. I, I guess it's just. I wonder the if angle. it's supposed to be like from from a comic from a comic or something like that. It's, we don't know about. It, it's not. It's from uh, okay. one of the movies. Okay, Man, but I'm excited about the little Ewoks. The Ewoks look good. Yeah, the Ewok definitely, definitely looks good. Is that uh, Tebow? It's Tebow, right? Uh, I, I, I believe so. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good too. <laughs> Man, this has me excited, dude. Now, are they going? Are they going to do soft goods on the cape, or do you think this is? Uh, it looks plastic. plastic. No, it's, it's plastic. plastic. Yeah. Now, okay, oh, so uh, hopefully they have the the jetpack. Like, I mean, because the, the reason the reason I'm saying all this because I, I know it's six inch, but I know that uh, the the vintage collection was essentially oh. just like a. Oh, there we go. It's just there a scaled it down version of the six inch. Mm -hmm. And so, like, that's that's where I'm trying to probe and see, like, what's what on this. But, all right, that's dope. Hey, here's a vintage collection. So you got Dude, I've thought about getting some of the some of the clones from the vintage collection line. I like it's them. been kind of tempting. Pretty cool. I think this is a uh, wolf. Yeah, that's, yeah, it is. So, we already got him for Black Series. Does his helmet come off like ours? Probably not. Are the shoulder pads yep, the same? There, there you go. Oh, I'm surprised. Good. With the with the one you already have, is are the shoulder pads the same or is the the, the little stampings on the side different? I, I'd have to to look at it, but I mean, six inch that you know they go all out on. So. Mm -hmm. And I believe I like how he's insinuating that they yeah. don't for three and three quarter. Well, they can do more with just like they can do more with one six scale than they can with six inch. Dude, that like I would argue that the see this is what I'm excited for with K two uh for the vintage collection. That looks good. Yeah, this dude was awesome in Rogue One. Uh, so that's I was hoping that they would have uh, teased an IG from a uh, Mandalorian, but uh, you know, I think I'll I think I'll still pick this up. But like the the three and three quarter inch Mandalorian does things that the six inch can't, like store the rifle on his back. The six inch it can store the rifle on his back. Yeah, it just falls off super easily. I've got it on there. I got it on two of them right now. Breathe, breathe on it. Both legs go off for miles. It's cool looking. Yeah, man. Oh, this is dumb though. This is so. Dumb. Oh come on, he's awesome. Dude, he's you guys dog. are so lucky. Oh yeah. So lucky. Look at this beauty. I just do like I'm just like man. They could have just done more some more stuff for Mandalorian, man. This could have been this could have been IG unit, you know. It's a walking recycle bin. Dude, yeah. dude, this is like this is for like Rick, you know, because you know, <laughs> yeah, like, like oh yeah, you'll love it. Yeah. He's 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 pinching his nipples at home right now. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, I I don't know, man. I I wish. I wish it would have been like IG with like Baby Yoda in the pouch or something like that. Oh, I got something for you at the very end, Dakota. Uh, here's McFarlane's, uh, I guess, another way of doing the Arkham stuff. Uh, I still like the uh, DC Collectibles Arkham stuff, man. It looks better. 
I haven't bought any of these McFarlane figures yet. Kabars picked some of them up, but like I don't know, dude. I'm kind of kind of over McFarlane. Yeah. The only one I, I got. I, I do have that Spawn pre-order though. For sure. I mean, articulated Spawn finally. Yeah. The, my question is though, like you know, I know like their their Doom guy didn't really have great articulation. It was mostly in the legs. So like I I don't know. It's it's tempting. I I would want that Spawn, but I'm like uh. Eh. And I mean the uh, Borderlands figures that they did, uh, McFarland did. They had good articulation. I like those. They had nice detail too, nice paint. Yeah, I'm, dude. If there's anything like McFarland is second to no one in, it's going to be paint and sculpt. But like ninety percent of the time, articulation is going to suffer. Uh, here's SH Figure Arts. Did they ever do like episode one Mandalorian or? I'm I'm sure they did. Okay, I wasn't. I you know I I didn't really keep up with it, six inch and all. But this looks uh, good too, man. Like, yeah, it's gonna run a little bit more. awesome. The black series, you know, like we don't get the little uh, little rockets. I forget what he calls them. Like he 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 spends that money to buy these rockets, and he ends up having to use them like five minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Like, dude, she's like she's like use them sparingly. Yeah, five minutes later. <laughs> he goes back. He's like, you know, the stuff I set aside for the foundlings. I'm going to need to dig into the foundlings fund. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but this is this is cool. I guess uh, his cape is soft goods. Yeah. But you're, yeah, you're going to get like with with uh, with figure arts, man, you're, you're going to get like the all the different little accessories and things like that. Just uh, they knock it out of the park. And, and, and you get what you Ooh, look at that. Get. Like Ooh. whenever we're Aww. getting the, the black series, so, uh, the child. Like why? Why do we not get the little the egg? Bassinet yeah, the kit, thing, bassinet yeah. thing or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, the, the green's a little off, but it looks good. I uh. I don't know, man. Like, I still think you're 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 doing pretty solid with the with the black series one as far as the child goes. But look at this one; he can get in a backpack and fit on uh, the eighty eight. Oh. Or this one is he the IG eighty eight as well? I thought he was eleven. He was eleven. eleven. IG eleven. IG, okay. IG 11. I, I, I just have IG eighty eight programmed in my head for whenever I see the assassin droid. So, all right, eleven. Yeah, man, those those are some awesome accessories right there. I see. I'd be willing to pay the extra. I think was it going to be like sixty bucks or something like that? I I think that's worth the price of admission, in my opinion. For just for all the extra stuff and just how figure arts are, are built in general, you're you're going to get more articulation out of it than you will a black series, you know, and it, just more paint detail and you know accessory wise. I think it's totally worth it. The and here's uh, Michael Keaton, Batman. This is from the 89. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. You know how you mm -hmm. can tell it's 89 instead of uh, the 92 Batman Returns? Is he has these extra little points right here at the bottom for 89. And then in Batman Returns, it was just swooped. Like it totally missed him. It just curved all the way down. Mm. You got to know your Batmans, Dakota. Still couldn't turn his neck. But yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. He was great. He was. I do have the. Oh, the, I like that. Uh, oh, George Clooney. Oh, bat nips. Don't even go there. No, yeah, we're not doing that today. Okay. <laughs> no bat nips. No, that could oh, be another man. another topic. Definitely. This looks good. I don't care for the stitching on the cape, but. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, look at the moss. Oh man, they really put that in the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I like this one. I have a, the NECA one, which you know I, I can't mess with. Otherwise, otherwise it'll shatter. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mafex, they're hush, Batman, and you see that they've got the like the wiry cape, which I I, I like that. I think that should be done. Yeah, a lot. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think that needs to be the industry standard.
I wonder how much soft goods adds to like the you know the budget for Cost. for like any given figure. Yeah, you know because I, like you know they they do it for for like black series. They've done it for vintage collection in some aspects, but like that's got to be crazy mass producing soft goods that and some of them have like even printed like details on. Yeah. Look, Look at this real quick, and this is why I'm like, dude, why doesn't McFarlane do this spawn, like a spawn figure that's articulated, and do like the wire caping so you could do it all crazy looking like this? Yeah, that's a missed opportunity. But again, that makes me circle back around to what's the, you know, how much of the budget would that take up? You know, does it take up any, you know, like I, I would think it would probably be more, like significantly more than a special plastic tooling. Or a steel tooling for a plastic piece. You know what I mean? I don't know. Look at Mezco. I mean, they've got entire body suits made out of fabric, and it's not yeah. much of a price. They're also like eighty bucks. Eighty bucks a figure, too. Well, isn't that sixty or stuff like that? Is Mayfex one? Uh, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, a, a cane versus a body suit. This is for uh, Dakota. Or no, I'm sorry, Dalton and uh, Rick because they play. Kingdom I like Hearts. Kingdom Hearts too. You do? Yeah. What a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Coming Shot from the guy fired. that was like, Do you know how to tell your Batman suits apart? You see, th- this Batman, oh! he's got the two points at the bottom. And then, and then uh, the Batman two years later didn't have the points at the bottom. <laughs> it, it was three years later. Get out of here. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> All right. We're getting into one six scale stuff. Um, yeah, so Cyberpunk, this is from Pure Arts. <laughs> if you just want the figure, it is two hundred and thirty dollars. <laughs> oh, take is that two. all? <laughs> okay, I mean, it's got like some little electronics to you know light up and stuff in there. So I mean, it's it's no hot toys, but uh, but there is a bike version, and we'll show you the bike. So if you want her. With the bike, you can get it for a low, low price of six hundred dollars. <laughs> wow! Get out of here! Nope, that, that's right there. Cheap. Yeah. Let's see. Do I make my mortgage payment or buy a toy? <laughs> do I do I buy do I buy a Unicron or do I buy a doll? Like easy foreclosure. Nah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> all right. Here's Mondo. Uh, here's their one six scale, uh, Doom. Wow, look at these accessories. I bet Tyler G is gonna freak out on this. I wonder what this is gonna come in, come priced at. Oh, is there even more little oh. accessory things? Who's making this? Mondo. Mondo. They've done some Masters of the Universe stuff. Do, uh, Sport, do you have one of the Masters of the Universe figures? I thought you I'm, said you did. I'm tempted to start in that. Okay. They look really good. And this is Rabbit one six hole. scale. I know. Yeah, one six yeah. scale. <laughs> that's dude, that's crazy. It's gonna be a this is gonna be a big boy because the Doom Slayer man, he's a big chonky boy. <clears throat> big old chonk. Oh, look at that! You can just uh. Make your own now. 3D 3, print. 3D print your own. Uh-huh. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's the there future. You go. Wow. I wonder if this is all going to be like removable stuff. I don't. I didn't even know that they showed the the Doom Slayer's face. All right. Slim Tim says he has the Mondo Skeletor, and it's pretty cool. It is. Uh, and they said here that uh, where the visor is that it's going to be a little transparent, so you'll be able to barely see the eyes. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, That's cool. Either, so. I was going to say, because I always thought Doom Slayer was like a, a faceless Master Chief type, you know, or Master Chief, rather, would be a faceless Doom Slayer type guy, but either way. <clears throat> All right, this is by Sideshow eh. Flexibles, and it's your cloth. I, I, I just don't dig it. Dead ever. Except he looks kind of like Batman. <laughs> Which is blind. This is how Just I talk. Blind as a bat? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he's, he's, he's Bro, gonna, I, look at, I, I've got my stick. 
the, his the pants, pants are all, pants, yeah, pants pants are all bunched problem. up in the crotch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, and it's listen. all nothing. You've got to know that he's like just, dude, he, he's like just rubbing skin from the sweat. Just you got to remember, oh, eight oh, hours oh. in leather is not fun. All right, stop it. Just, what, what do you do for your nighttime job, Brett? Uh, the chief. You, you, uh. you know what I do. So, I mean, <laughs> gotta gotta pay them bills. He's expensive. <laughs> That's right. Not cheap. He's <laughs> <laughs> still all bunched up. <laughs> <laughs> you think they fixed that for the pictures? But not gonna know. say it. <laughs> This is the same company that does videos on how to pose your figures. So. <laughs> uh, Hot Toys, Harley Quinn uh, from Arkham Games. Oh, hey, uh, season two of the Harley Quinn uh, cartoon just started up. I, if you haven't watched it, you should. Deathstroke cartoon. I've just seen the first episode. <clears throat> That's Not for pretty. kids, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, neither one of them are for kids. Well, like, you know, even for video game, that that's a nice face. So she got a pretty face. Got a pretty, pretty, pretty. Where's some pretty? Crazy ones always are. That that is true. I rather have Catwoman, Batgirl. They both still crazy. Yeah, I mean, clinically. <laughs> <laughs> like both of them are. <laughs> yeah. Damn, yeah I mean, this, them, if them gals would just pop a pop like an extra Xanax or something like that throughout <laughs> the day, they'd be a little more well balanced. You know? <laughs> this, this, this one, uh, she would kill you during the night, though, like for just yeah. no reason. All right, there's uh, all her little accessories. She comes with paint, a little jack in the box, and that. That's a nice stand. I do like stand. All right, Dakota. Uh-huh. I'm ready. No. Oh, uh, let, is let, this let, one one? Yeah, this is one one scale. Let me and eat. it's a figure. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's going to cuddle with it. All right. All right. At the, let, let me know if you're going to get it. And at the end, this uh, is Hot Toys. Get, it's hot, hot toys. toys. Yeah. It's hot toys. Life size collectible figure. Oh, oh! And even because of the bag, you could punch it in. Mm. Well, look in, in in his eyes too. Like there's a lot of detail in the eyes. Mm. Did you just say you could? I guess in a bag you could punch him in. <laughs> yeah. I wait for some. <laughs> what I just heard. <laughs> Yeah, because oh, of the bag, God. you can punch him in. <laughs> oh, football! Oh, look, you get the little necklace too there. Oh, poor Yoda! It's not Yoda. I know. It's baby Yoda. It's no. not baby Yoda. Don't kill the dream. I bet it's a girl too. It's the child. Maybe it's reincarnation. I still think it's funny how he's got this like little peach fuzz. Got the little yeah. girl, peach fuzz growing mm-hmm. in. Uh, everyone can guess how much he is. Once we get thirty. Once we get done with the photos. Okay. Sorry. That's why you don't cut me off. You let me finish. And for life size. Yeah. And you know Dakota would have. Put him in the backpack and just carry him around wherever he went. On yeah, he'll buy two. Yeah. Oh, Dakota dropped out. Oh, he's oh. back in. He said, "Put me back in." Okay, sorry, my my internet uh, <laughs> crept out on me. Uh-huh. Like literally, like literally, I was like, "Wait, is this Hot Toys?" Okay, so it's it's a one one scale figure. Are pre orders up? Pre-orders are not up, but I know what the price is, and What's we're going to get the Everybody's going to do what? Everybody's going to do what? Guess the price at the end. I'm going to let y'all know who's the closest. So interchangeable ears, you get a few little accessories, some extra hands. Uh, you get the bag. Uh, 
Let's. See. I guess he comes with the egg. Um, I wish it would come without the egg. I don't need the freaking egg. Uh, interchangeable ears. Uh, three pairs of hands. Uh, base color robe. Uh, get the necklace. You get the silver colored knob. How big is it? Uh, forty one to one centimeters. Scale. So probably ten inches tall, maybe ten to twelve inches tall. Uh, it has to be bigger than that. No, yeah, he's he's gonna be bigger than that. It's probably gonna be like fourteen inches tall. Oh man, y'all are acting like two whole inches. I mean, who, who's who's really gonna make a big deal out of that? Never mind. Um, <laughs> Size right, well, matters, buddy. Four, Fourteen <laughs> inches. Fourteen inches. Mm. Okay. Fourteen inches. All right. All right. So we're about ready to take some bets on prices. Yep. We're going to uh, go to the prices right right now. That's going to be our final little thing here, and we're going to close out. So, uh, Mike, <clears throat> what you got oh, on Baby Yoda? Six hundred dollars. Six hundred. All right, Megamus. Um, I could. I could do the prices right and do five ninety or uh, six oh one or whatever, but no, I'll go. Uh, <laughs> You're just trying to get get it closest to possible where it is. Three ninety nine ninety nine. Four hundred. Okay, just under four hundred. Okay, Dalton says two fifty. Slim says four fifty. Just because he said three ninety nine, I'm just going to say four hundred. Just like be you buy a penny and yeah. jerk. Sure. I'm gonna. <laughs> is is it my turn? Yeah, it's got to be my turn. Yeah, uh, yeah. Three, three fifty. Three fifty. Sport. What do you got? Four fifty. Four fifty. And Chris is the winner at four hundred ten dollars. He's ten dollars off. Wow. Man, sure. Yeah. Sure. Oh, fuck, man. That's so so good. Chris, you win yourself. Nothing. Nothing really. I was, yeah, gonna, I, was uh, gonna, I was gonna. I was gonna say you win yourself the figure, but then I'm like, I don't need somebody using this recording later on. You know, <laughs> how, do, how do they? How do they usually uh, do flex payments, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, though, I did you, say eight hundred, but then when you said it was like fourteen inches, it's like, oh, you. Yeah, it's not yeah I, I knew it wasn't. I knew it was. There's no way it was going to be six hundred dollars, but. Like I, I'm definitely want it. Like it's like I I, I was complaining about the sideshow and just being a statue because I wanted to use it for hijinks. And uh hijinks. Ridiculous. I'll pay four ten for it, absolutely. Oh god, no. Me neither. But that's why I was asking about uh flex pays. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh the flex pay you would just pay um God man, I haven't done one in a while. Uh the, the uh, it'd probably be like usually not that that much, it, and then you you break it down into I think you can do up to four payments. Yeah, you okay, can, yeah, you, it's you, easy. You, you can do up to four payments, and you would pay a, a like an initial at the beginning, so which is usually like I don't know, usually like around fifty bucks or something like that. Uh, yeah. to, to lock it in, and then you divide the remaining amount by your four payments. You can do two, three, or four. You do a four, and then at the very end, you would pay for the shipping and tax. Oh, that's super easy. Yeah, that's 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 incredibly easy. Like that's there's nothing to that. Like oh, also uh, with that is uh, with you you go to the four payments right, and let's mm -hmm. say like okay things are rough, you know. So it's, once you make the first initial payment, whenever the second one comes up, you can be like postpone to next month. So you can postpone. Now, once you make now that 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 third month, you have to make that second payment. Once you do that, you can go to the next month and be like, postpone that. So as long as you make a payment, you can postpone the next one. So you could actually push that thing out mm -hmm. as far as six six months if you wanted to. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I mean, I definitely wouldn't do that. I would just, I mean, for it to, for it to only be four hundred bucks, like it'd be paid off at the at you know it, it four four months, like super easy. You know, yep that that's how Rick and I we do 
all the hot toys. I, I, I put myself in the same category as Rick right there. I realized I just that. That's how me and Rick <laughs> that, like, have hundreds of hot toys do it. That's a weird flex. Uh, yeah. yeah. As you can see, I have just tons of hot <laughs> toys figures. So. Oh, right, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm about it. I'm 100% about it. Like, I, I wanted an articulate Baby Yoda, and now I'm getting it. So you can, you can have them fighting off with Unicron. Unicron. Dude, no, I'm gonna like I'm gonna hide them in little. I'm gonna like I'm just gonna like I'm not gonna let my mom know that I'm getting it. I'm just gonna like hide it, like freak her out and shit. Just, just have like, them like give your mom a heart peeking, peeking behind like the like uh, the curtains. Yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah, just kind of staring at her while she's cooking. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Hey, oh yeah. yeah. No, put right. in the china cabinet and have them looking out at her. <laughs> let's, let's no, see, she doesn't look at the let's China cabinet. Let's, like, let's round up, round up. Let's tell everybody where they can find you. You can find me everywhere as Angry Mike. Oh, trying to get my camera on. Sorry, I was eating. Um, Mega Must Make a Toy Fan on Facebook. Chris, mom, oh. same order. Um, yeah, uh, you can find me on Facebook at uh, Chris Barrett, or you can find our Facebook page is Wall Dogs Face, uh, Wall Dogs Paintball. Or you can find me on Twitter, not Twitter, Instagram as the Mighty Squirrel, as I forgot to mention. Nice. You can find me here as Sportivus, Facebook and Twitter as Sportivus Prime, and on Instagram as Sportivus underscore Prime. Yay! Yay! <laughs> you can find me everywhere at Non Essential Sabbath. And you can find me, G1Xron, on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook page, the G1Xron. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and see you in a couple weeks. Peace. Bye. Bye.